Sina Sol. Now, 
for those who are speaking, all of us here, as I said earlier, Professor Doyoyo has impacted on us in one way or the other. And we are coming here to support the family. There's no use in repeating what has been said by the other. If I were you, when somebody has said what I was going to say, I'm not sure that I was going to say what I was going to say. I was going to say what Now, we deliberately speaking in English because the people here who do not understand our language, but we have 11 official languages in South Africa. That's the only country in the world with 11 official languages, if we may know. <laughs> there are 265 languages in Nigeria. Not all of them are official. Now, it means we will, if you do not wish to speak in English, you can speak in Chibenda. It's an official language. I guess I didn't offend anyone. Can I see your hands? Did I offend anyone? No, not really. But if I'm offended, we can talk after the service, isn't it? Okay. Let me call upon Advocate Sivaga, Mr. Wood, to come and make an acknowledgement. Let's have a song. I guess the guitars and stuff are ready to hear. I
Vita, Amalia, Shango, Loyoyo, and Olivia, the Zuri Loyoyo. Uh, I'm also acknowledging those who are joining online from North Carolina, Ibuai, Tato, and the family, and the rest of the Loyoyo and Zaga clan around the world. I will also acknowledge uh, our traditional leader from Galway, Bob Mani. Next, I will move to friends and colleagues. Those who are online amongst us are Usima Shangu from Tamela, Fedino from Sangam Group, then Marukana, Chief Executive Officer of Eskom Holdings, followed by Pastor Masha and Elvis Luciani from Third Alternative Solutions, followed by Rian Patches from Decro Products, Amori Guard, and for those who I don't know what Amori Guard is. Amori Guard is, is a paint which doesn't have a smell, which was invented by the uh, Next, he follows Gordon Namin, joining from the United States, Wisconsin. Followed by one and our own. Professor Chizma Wara from Japan, followed by Arashomi Chipango, former mayor of Flamel. Next is Rufunom Papui from Papui Kotsati. Uh, will be followed by Mukoni Mushapi from Vedek District Municipality. An LED manager. We also acknowledge <coughs> colleagues from Brown University, Georgia Tech, and the MIT who are joining live stream. I should mention that uh, the time I visited Moraro in the United States, he took me to all these universities, which are Brown, Georgia Tech. MIT. We also acknowledge CZL from People's Eye, Calvin Ume, Director of African Bilateral Economic Relations in the Department of Trade and the Industry. Also, we acknowledge Mulewa Malusi from Zenoli Waste. The next one, the next and last one will be Jaru Sidane from Clean Planet Enterprise. Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome. Thank you. Advocate Svata.
sister to my father. So when I say let's dance, relax. We're well, here as a family. We want another. Can we sing that song again and see us celebrating a life that has been lived? Murado died empty because he served his purpose. Let's celebrate his life in a song. Ahuna no da.
I understand she's here. And then after that, I'll tell you the direction we're taking. As I said, the program is a little bit different from where I stand. First, we sing a song. Reverend Dr. Kagwari Nafura will be coming to the front and lead us in petition prayers. Stay in heaven. You 
also stay with one with a broken heart. That means at this, at this juncture, you are with the Doyoyo family. We pray, Father, that you continue to heal them. You continue to comfort them. You continue, Father, to uplift their spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that search that you, you, you are near to the broken hearted and you save those who are contrite in spirit. Heal them, Father, uplift them in the mighty name of Jesus. We have said that the sacrifices of God are broken spirit and broken and contrite hearts. This you will never despise. We know, Father, that you don't ignore a broken heart. And we believe, Father, that even at this time, you will never ignore them. You will always look at them. You will always heal them. You will always stretch your hand towards them. You have said in your hand, in your, in your, in your word, that you heal the broken hearted and bind out their wounds. It is our prayer this afternoon that may you heal their broken hearts. May you bind up their wounds in the mighty name of Jesus. We have said in the words that you are the everlasting God, the Lord who is the creator of the earth and everything that is there. And we know that you neither faints nor is weary and or nor are weary. We pray, Father, that as you do not faint, when we faint, uplift us. When the family faints, uplift them, Father, in the name of Jesus. When they are weary, give them more power in the name of Jesus. We have said in the word that you give power to the weak and to those who have no mind to increase the strength. It is our prayer this afternoon, Father, that may you give them power. May you increase their strength in the mighty name of Jesus. We have said that the youth shall fall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. May you renew their strength. May they mount up with wings like eagles. May they run and not be weary. May they walk and not faint. May your mighty hand be upon them. We have said in your word that can a woman forget her missing child and not have compassion on the son of a womb? Surely they may forget, but you will not forget us. Yes, we have said in your word that you will never forget us. You will never forget them. You will remember them during the day and at night. We have inscribed their names on the, on the palms of their hands. Keep on, Lord, blessing them. Keep on, Lord, healing them. Keep on, Lord, uplifting them. And stop these calamities in the name of Jesus. We know that in the last year they went through this dark feeling. And this time they also went through this dark feeling. We ask you, Lord, to stop this in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know nothing is impossible with you. Heal us, Lord. If you heal us, we shall be healed. Heal them, Father. If you heal them, they shall be healed. Save them. If you save them, they shall be saved. For you are our praise. We have said in the word that you will restore health to us and heal us from our wounds. Heal them, Father. Restore their health and heal them from their wounds. As you have said and promised in your word. We have said in Exodus chapter 15 verse 26 that if you diligently hear the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on to the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Father, we thank you for knowing that you are the Lord who heals us. You are our healer. Heal them, Father, in the name of Jesus.
Murano Doyo. Wamun Zumi, Nakubomi. Wamun Dangawe, Namakoronza. Wama Benda Bordo Yo, Namangai. Wama Shige, Wama Site. E when we ran Chilamut, Muduru, Maladauzi, Goba, Masse. And there are the Moody, the Yella Mam, Lena Rufa, the Sumam Sa. Queen, the Mura Shawamut, if the Sham Chira, Echikadichira, Muduru Abalauzi, Bagamaseng. But you are seen a taba, tabaza won the madamo, our fumagat. The doyer la mambo, Lina la rufa, la sumam sand. The shakam pande, dombo, la manukaz. Mpenning badon de gonyetalan, the remeruni, the viena rom tan. O sifunda zafeno china, lisa do, lisa do china. Usa kwemberera. Vaira mchila wambuzi. Ala mchila wambuzi. Mano aaparala. Makuinda la balaudzi. Ndikuinda la balaudzi. Gova mase. Pururu uh, Those who do not understand When we say That's a flute I mean those who are watching on the stream Don't worry That's how we praise Our clans That's how we You see the good thing about us as Africans Is that when we are sad We sing and praise when we're happy, we sing and praise. That's exactly what we're doing. Thank you very much. As we sing a song of worship we'll be calling upon Reverend Masere Sere to come and give us a short message of the day you will realize your program is not the same as mine we will be singing a song and calling upon Reverend Masere Sere to come and do some of the things you should know about Prof. Doyo, he had a spiritual life. Around 2011, 2012, he called me and said, Ish, I need a spiritual home. I gave him some, somebody in Johannesburg and they spent a very good time. And I believe it was still so when he passed on. So let's sing a song as we call upon Reverend Masere Sere to come and give us the honors. Yeah, oh,
I stand here crucified in this pulpit. I stand confused. For I myself cannot take myself off the pain or the cross of the pain of death. Whereas I have no strength to help the joy of your family get out of it. Of late, death has not been so kind to this family. Hence the petition said by the Dr. Nemeguni. The way it is, it tempts us to join the Matthew 27 community, the community around the cross. Even those who were passing by, he shouted in mockery, saying to Jesus on the cross, look at you. You said you were going to destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Well then, if you are the son of God, save yourself and come down the cross. Some said he saved others, but he can't save himself. If he claims the king of Israel, let him come down from the cross and we will believe in him. He trusted God, so let God rescue him now, if he wants him, for he said, I am the son of God. Situations such as this find ourselves in a point where we can easily doubt God and all that he has once said in his word. Nevertheless, despondent as we are, we need to join Isaiah in the temple. We have no doubt Isaiah was no stranger in the temple. But at this point, when he visited the temple, it was different. Let us read this afternoon from Isaiah chapter 6, reading only verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 1. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on high and lofty throne. 
the bottom, the bottom of this rope filled the temple. Bafunzi wamsanda dombele baritele tabelo. I'm told we have 11 official languages of which uh, mine and Muraros are also is also an official language. I think I have broken the Queen's languages enough. I will touch on it from every now and then as I continue. Konanzanga ma siari haya ri kovara mapungo. Ndona nga uri rijiepezi verse 1. I know vangwa shinga dewa bota karela nishibara na zingwe zinoko tebe. But for the purposes of this sermon, verse 1 is my center of my sermon. In the opening of Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah writes, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. There are those who claim that um, the mentioning of Isaiah's death was solely for marking the period in which Isaiah visited the temple. Vangwenga palavari ndure Isaiah na Uzia vovava vazara vatsini they were close cousins to a point that Uzia's death weighed heavily on Isaiah and therefore it became important or as we remark or Urufura ayuzi ya uro ita uri ndibone mreni. Vanozia mbanga hindi la vari musi Isaiah achika dichira. I mean uzi ya kadichira. Isaiah singa sikono bona mrena. Asinga sikono upa muzimu achiamba na yekwine. Because every now and then when he listened to God, he listened with a level of biasness. Nonetheless, Isaiah as a prophet will not only be concerned by his personal and blood relationship with the queen, king, Ozia, but he will also be concerned with the impact that follows the death of the king. Indeed, during the reign, of King Uzziah, Prophet Hosea, Hosea and Amos also prophesied charging the people and their rulers with a variety of individual and societal sin. While under the same leadership, Judah attained a high economic and military stability. The economic and the military success in a community marked God's presence and God's reign amongst his people and also spoke much about the leadership that the king had provided to such a community. Therefore, Araruchiko Uroba Kosi Ino komanda wuhone ya mzimu kamushumo wayo. Of course mporofite ute otomoba na matada. Aorimi ni azino musikosi isicheo. Because Uzziah's death poses a great economic, political and a military challenge amongst the community of the Jews. 
getting ready for this memorial service, I visited Google Scholar. I scanned over Professor Doyoyo's intellectual contribution. It's massive. The citation index is impressive. I'm trying to speak like a scholar a little bit. <laughs> I'm a good scholar of the University of Venda. And we can all agree that his early departure is a great loss to the academic community. South Africa and the world in general will also miss his innovative works. His family, on the other hand, will all agree if few calls may necessitate a family to rise and search for one individual because they are missing him telephonically, it will tell you how connected he was to his family. And as such, it dictates to a great loss to that kind of a family. He was not only an academic colleague, but he was also a family person. And I could have saved the situation. Whole lot of things to come through our minds as situations such as this happen before us. And one question that we ask, we ask God, where were you? Why didn't you touch one of us to be closer to this man at this moment when he was called up yonder? With all the questions that we may have, in such a depressive moment. We need to journey with Isaiah. During the times of the prophet Isaiah, God was only identified with the temple. And the only place you could find God it was alleged it was in the temple. And immediately after experience such a confusion, there was nowhere else he could go except to go where God is found. David did the same after losing his son. And we'll realize both of them when they walked out of the temple, they had a different perspective about God. Isaiah claims, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. And as he complains about his unworthiness to be in the presence of God, God came in through his angels and cleansed him. It is at this time where I invite all of you here present, especially the Doyoyo family, to lift your eyes up to the Lord, for that is the only place where you can get help, where you can get healing, and where you can get a fresh perspective of life. That's the only place where you can be saved of the sting of death. Death is very painful. When one of us dies, he dies with all of us. But there is only one God in heaven who can help you resurrect and face life in a better way. The name of the Father, of the Son, and of the sweet Holy Spirit, God's word have been preached. Amen.
Ria, 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 Thank you very much, Reverend. We have heard from the Word of God. We are still celebrating the life of a legend, a life well lived, a life worth living. Now, As we're celebrating, I think, as I said earlier, we're going to also sing and dance and celebrate because celebrations include singing and dancing. We're going to the tributes from friends. We'll be connecting live to those who are in the diaspora, as I said earlier. But let's start at home. I'm going to call, as we sing, the former mayor of Tulamela Municipality, Mr. Musho Nichipango. The disadvantage of speaking first, you might stretch yourself a little bit longer, but with him we briefed each other that if you have spoken very long it's two minutes (laughs) let's sing a song and call upon (laughs) the minutes will be counted if you come in very slowly you know this thing of when you're called you wait for the song to end and you stand up very slowly as if you are the bishop I thought it's only bishops who do that so as I call you, I'm sure he's still very young, so he can run down the aisle here and come as quickly as possible. I can say that because he's far younger than me. <laughs> as we call upon the former mayor, let's sing a song and he comes down here. <laughs> last week much here moraro guy ndari ndama 3 and amase and verset to be in mathana on behalf of uh, mr toyoyo moraro chipinga chote mara zwino zwa 3 to 2 to 3 weeks and za kwamba ndafonela bango babangana ba ndiri moraro guy labo ndi bambudzo ri bana 2 to 3 weeks basi kwamba na Reason your samba na mularo, yoba yuri asirine rno tu mularo, mularo ndi ena nuri to. Dinner no fone da mularo, ndi ena mfumularo anuri fone asirine rno fone. 
Arareba kudu fura na mureba funua kudu kuzuri bana chipinga. Mureba duamba two hours and ba funua ba bana a time. Ngori aeringa idro bi kolo yena funua mraro. Ido funua ngamraro ene muna chipo na zote. Aji kuzuri disinga nde dead. Nari arikani asi disinga nde dead. Nini disinga nde dead? Ero wani chini disinga nde dead. Zazu chikondo uchira na mraro no pina busu mraro. Ndichi wone zunu kwete ya pano ni Ndwani chizu dozuri madekwa na machero Asandi Arari hoba horoba muamutu Ngabu tu ya madawcha kanitri ya madawcha Arari kwa mabidhan Arari analeza hururu furo kwa yumutu Arari mabidhan Ende ya dhuri jira wege mbiri Arari kwa mabidhan Libidhan ila kwa yumutu Arari kwa analeza Ngauru furo kwa yumutu Rado analyze na abu mati bure why guambazo la sio guambazo hani. Rabu sor why erani au guambazo la sio guambazo hani. Ndi tewe bana pinduro, na sabo na pinduro, atu kwamba namuraro. Ndoche na namuraro uva 1978, tido rumbu 1978 tu na mimi mwenye kana zuri. Gari zini yaori ndi chifuli chana, stinsi, no wana namuraro no chifuli chana. Ndate uo tamba na yengori Hangu tunchira kuri mraru Mraru asa atinduri Ndendi imunga na wawe Oba chiri mratu wanga Ndi funu pindu luruwa Achiru umkoma na wanga So hati zui mraru wa chizu yamba Ndi funu uba Na pindu luruwa mraru Na dona staru chenza Mraru Era ni ado amburi Fenda changa chitonga chitonga Kuna zwaputi Rado diyo zi analai zuri, why? Ashi riji venda chawa chaba chavuti. Asi mvenda. Asi wana warubi. Kana siye. Elana chuko verena, kana farana kwa verifindi nyuyu. Nde ndi farani. Ay, ndi farani. Oh, who, nati? Ndi muratu wa deniso. Ndo chila na wawa la bana muna. Mufangari ni kopelu langama ifu amba. Siungwa zoe wa wabachi mbuzazo ndi zori. Niko baruru uskela taski enda ni hipa. Yawari ndi chituwa hembe u. Ito tuhuwa. Maranda zamori ndi todori mbe u isungu tuwa. Matupa theba dhuri topa mbana rubini ndu te zama. Mamfone na biru. Eh, hai. Munga si chene na hila mutu. Ni chene sani na hila mutu. Ndu te zamori mbe u isungu tuwa. Zambe u te sana makuwa. Mbeo tu sana makuwa. Mwana rone zuba kubona ni chinga ni kwa zamu 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 kwa zamu. Nga uru uri zi jiniasi azi chiri chifu kwa zamu. Tenga zuru wene otu kwa. Obo mbuzo nuzo ria kisa 46 years in the lack. Ende rene watu wa Afrika chipembe ariko du mshumisa. Mshumisa ashwi erdo tesor. Otu kwa. Otu wa ndivo ini tiru tangano ilipasini. Ndobani sasa duzu ishi zima rolana ni uduzu ya ambayere Oba amento yaka Otu wa ndi wine Uchroni ashu Sengadiri jira hundred years odu baratanga na Uwe swaka Ngaru otu wa ndi wine Otu wa ndi wine Hila ndi wine yuri baru ishumisa Nguru zasu uliru ishumisa Mara otu wa ndi wine Karita ende Goba ye dhera Goba orara Saya zuri beri cula madu ba ura ringa fuk. Dulu pun macam macam show. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Chipango. You can see these are friends. We continue with the tributes from friends. Now, Muraro is a very difficult person. Let's acknowledge it. He, when he came back, I was, I'm a former journalist and I see Catrice here and others who Catrice has edited several newspapers in the country. Now I said to Muraro, we need to go on radio and newspapers so that you can talk. So I gave him examples of his peers who had been on radio and other stuff. Then he said, I was worried. I was worried. Nendi shumori inwini pare 
Ito ni buzo ni ambe min. Haro. Asunga iti ni. So, yes, his first interview with, with the SAFM. Zichi wea zari. Zamfone la zari. Eh, matikos ya hita zila zi itu man. Ndai nuko pfara. Ndi ing. Na misa kapara para FM. Vapo then he had other interviews. But it was very difficult. When I introduced him to the Limpopo government, because, well, our government in Limpopo missed an opportunity. I can say it there, seated here. Uh, because I don't think they understood innovation. I took him to present his uh, innovative brick to one of the departments. When he came out, I didn't go in. He went with some well, uh, German friends. So he came out. He looked dejected. I said, what happened? He said, ah, but I won't go for a lot of truth. <laughs> so, you see, when Jesus died on the cross, his obituary was in two words from a certain guy. I think he was a general Wafunzi. He said, wow, this guy was a great guy. Ah. Uh, that's what they're saying now. Yeah, one premier in the province, when he was told about his death, he said, who is this guy? Serious. He said that. Um, we're calling, I'm saying this because we're calling one of the people who are in the media. As we sing a song, let's call Sizwe Yende from People's Eye. When he's done, we'll cross over to Vusi Matlangu. Sizwe Yende, as we sing a song, then we'll cross over to Sizwe, uh, to Vusi Matlangu. And we're crossing over on live stream to people in the diaspora. Cizwe, can you come? Yes, so I tembe, yeah, yes, so I tembe, yeah, yes, so I tembe, yeah, I'm going to see difficult moment for all of us. I was trying to call him uh, for three weeks. I, I couldn't get hold of him. On the day when I thought I should uh, write him an email to check how he was doing, then that's when I heard the, the bad news. Um, I met him through Mr. Lufunum Papuli uh, about six years ago. In my line of job, I meet many people, I make friends, but it's, it's, it's not often that I will uh, get a brother. To me, uh, Professor De was a brother. In the true sense of the word, he was not a friend at all. 
as I was driving from Nelspreet, it's a six and a half hour drive, I remembered him. Because during those trips, long trips that I make uh, as a journalist, he would call me and we would be on the phone for three hours at a time. Uh, he could, he spoke about anything, any topic under the sun. I don't know where he got the knowledge, but he, he, he just knew everything. He was very competent in whatsoever. Even when he later heard that I had an interest in soccer, I was busy with kids, then the topics would be analyzing games, analyzing UEFA games, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, um, I've lost a brother. I'm standing here, my heart is bleeding because I've been thinking, I've spoken about him, I'm asking my, like, one que myself one question. Why was our country so blind not to see the asset that we, we had? This is a man who could create jobs, build factories, create jobs, create so many jobs that we need. Uh, but um, for some reason, which I still fail to understand, the country snapped him. And the first time when I had to talk to him, uh, uh, Mr. Mpapul introduced me to him. It was about some problem with the Houghton government. He had come with some uh, good innovation, a uh, brick-making machine. He wanted to, uh, you know, to, to help uh, uh, township entrepreneurs uh, uh, to enter this market. But there was a big, big problem because he was told, yeah, we see your idea, but we will let the Chinese bid also because Chinese are black. Yes, he was told Chinese are black. That was then he told me that, look, Caesar, uh, my younger brother, he used to call me, I give up on our government. Let us start a movement. That's what he told me. Let us start a movement that will be influential all over Africa. Because the innovations, uh, his innovations, he didn't say my innovation. His, he used to say to me, our innovation. Because he really wanted to help everybody. He wanted everybody to benefit. It was the last time I spoke to him, he said, no. Uh, last time I saw him in December, uh, I, I passed by him. He bought me good food. And then he was telling me, not in so many ways, that uh, the liquid cement, the commercial side of things, was coming okay. Well, that, that, was, that was good news. And then he said to me, what he wanted to do was to give every person from all walks of life an opportunity to be part of his companies. You can come and contribute your 5,000, your 50,000, 100,000, but he wanted those factories he was going to, to build to benefit Africans, and Africans should own them. We're talking here, he's gone. We missed that opportunity. It's an opportunity that is lost. He often said to me, Africans are still the wretched of the earth. He wanted to change the situation. But he was never given the platform. He was never given the platform. For whatsoever reason, I don't know. Because after meeting him, then I began to understand this topic of innovation. I did my own research. That's when I realized, yay. We are having an asset here, but when I looked at the government policies and so on, there's very little about innovation. We're talking about joblessness, uh, lack of jobs, but there's very little about innovation. His idea was that all the research institutions should be in every province, every corner. They should be identifying all these young kids who have got bright ideas, bring them together, they develop the prototypes and everything, and create factories. But that didn't happen. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what to say really. Um, that, that, that's a sore point for me. It was also a sore point for him because uh, he was ready at any time. I, I remember uh, as we were speaking, uh, me realizing that, uh, you know, this is a very extraordinary man. I said to him, I, okay, how about if I write a book about you? Because your story is never told. South Africa doesn't know about you. You went to the U.S. when you were young. They recognize you. You were recognized by chieftains. It's as far as Alaska, but in South Africa, nobody seems to know about you. Yeah, he agreed. He titled it uh, The Unknown Engineer. That was how he titled it. Okay, we started working in 2019. I've got four chapters sitting there. COVID-19 came. He was very, very depressed by that, by COVID-19, so we couldn't go any further with the book. And when we beat uh, COVID-19, then he had a lot of things on the pipeline, so we could not really, really, really uh, work on the book uh, because he was too busy. And then there was the liquid cement, which kept, kept him so busy. But I will try with your help uh, uh, to finish what we started because there is no other way that I can honor him better than finishing that story of his life. To the Doyo family, I'm the younger brother of uh, Professor Doyo that you never met. Uh, we shared many moments uh, of happiness, of, gri of grief. We spoke about everything. He knows everything about me. I knew everything about him. Even though he was staying in Joburg, I was staying in, in Nelspreet, but every week we'd have those little, uh, lengthy calls, and my family members knew that, oh, okay, he's with Professor Doyoyo, don't disturb him. They know that the call is going to take two hours or, or even more. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't say anything more. I am a mortal myself, so I, I cannot even start to reason why this happened so prematurely. Thank you very much, Program Director. Thank you very much, Cesar. There's still more stories about Professor Doyoyo from Friends. We're going to cross over to Vusi Matlangu from UCT and then to Dennis Den Marugane, who is also a friend. After that, I'll tell you where we're going. I think we will, it's past, it's 10 past, 12 minutes past nine in Boston. So we'll cross to Boston and then hear what uh, Professor Marella says. He's in Boston, he's not in Japan. Thank you. Let's listen to Vusi Matlangu.
Thank you very much. We we tend to celebrate Plato, Aristotle, and all all other people who died many years ago. We don't even know their ancestors. We don't even know where they come from. So I write name the time. Professor Doyo was super intelligent. You've had these confessions. Now, some, some of us only know Marwala. I'm saying this because he's listening. And Marwala Shirizu will tell you, this was my mentor. So everything that you know about Marwala, he was taught by Muraro. Let's have Professor Marwala to confess that. Toba Usika Boston, maybe 25 years ago. No one do this in Wangamura. No one do a Brown University. We know we will put in a pan of Boston. No one is going to go far. Nendo Bandichi ya da zula Namura. Of course, Murado Achipeza Upper Road Island or the panel Boston MIT. Murado Oma Mutu Tari Pabuoma. Well, all it a PhD in the field of you know, solid mechanics in our field in our Kondanamanda Kahei uh, Kahei Zangadona La uh, Mechanical Engineering. Murado. Ongwana su zinji Zine na na mwusi watu waka dizishu misa Na mwusi mwana otuwa Ezu zitu zinji ze angwara Zito shumisiwa Mwana We are going to miss you The whole Intellectual community In mechanical engineering in particular and in engineering in general is going to miss your impact your impact in the field cannot be emphasized enough it opens up very critical issues around sustainable development it opens up the very difficult conversations on the industrialization of the African continent that such industrial revolution must happen and it must happen in a sustainable way and of course it should be the industrialization that leaves absolutely no one behind and through your work through your leadership through your patents through the papers that you have written that dream is going to be realized. Yes, I personally am deeply impoverished by your departure. 
almost every city that you went to, whether it was uh, Atlanta when you were at Georgia Tech, whether you, it was when you came and visited Cambridge, I've almost visited you in all the cities that you have been. And of course, here at the university uh, in South Africa, uh, we worked together at the University of Johannesburg where you were the professor. And indeed, Murado, your mark in the discipline of engineering is absolutely outstanding. We are impressed about it and we are going to benefit from it and many people are going to benefit from it for many generations to come. Murado, kawa edere nga Murado, nda uyandu. For those who do not understand, I said it at the beginning, he mentored, Muraro mentored Chirizi. Now I know you know Chirizi, he is the Vice Chancellor and the Principal of the United Nations University and he is based in Tokyo in Japan. So we are talking about a giant here. I lived in London, I was then working for the BBC World Service. Every time they go to the US, they would via London and I would take them throughout. But you know when you are taking intellectuals around, <laughs> they would say, <laughs> Oh, I'm a cool and he had this thing about, all right, in Gamaku, Oshawa Vadozipa. Now, can we cross again to the United States and talk to one of colleagues, Gordon Nameni? And after that, after Gordon, Pascal Marsha and Elvis Nziane from Fed Alternative Solutions and Doco Paint. They are here. I thought the other one, you know, these names, I called him Pascal. And he said, hey, hey, hey that's not Pascal, <laughs> it's Pascal. <laughs> they will be coming and uh, make their own address. You will decide who will speak three minutes each. Gordon, Nameni, the stage is yours. Hello, this is Gordon Nameni uh, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin a good friend of Malala Doyoyo. Uh, you could say that I'm his brother from another mother. And this is my son, Corbin, and my daughter, Anna, and they just wanted to say a couple of words. We're really sorry for your loss. Condolences. Yeah, so um, I, I want to be reflective of my relationship with DIY, is what I call them, my big brother. And I just want to, you know, tell you this uh, quick little story of when I was in graduate school. Um, actually, an undergrad in DIY was a PhD student at Brown. So I remember um, it was my senior year. I was working on my honors thesis, and I remember that it was the very end of the semester. I needed to get this done. I'd been doing this research for about a year and I was doing some data analysis, I could not make sense of that data. I had been looking at it, I had to write a report, and I remember at like maybe two o'clock in the morning or so, DIY comes to my door, he knocks on my door, and he's like, what are you doing, Big Shot? He called me Big Shot. And I'm like, I'm working on my report. <laughs> what are you doing, it's two o'clock in the morning. And he's like, oh really? So he wanted to take a look at it. I showed him my data, and I kid you not, and maybe less than five minutes or so, DIY knew the source of my data and was able to analyze and explain it to me. And because of that, I was able to finish my honors thesis and, you know, later, many, many years later, uh, DIY also uh, helped me with the critical decision on what PhD program I should go into. I remember visiting a couple of different schools, had a couple of different scholarship opportunities. Um, 
within this school that I decided on, you know, he had recommended that I go to University of Illinois. And um, I remember deciding between two professors and I called a yo-yo and he made it so clear in less than seconds. He's like, you need to go with Dr. Economy. Dr. Economy ended up becoming my advisor and I was able to switch my area of research from semiconductors to developing new materials for water purification. I was able to win a Fulbright and I was able to come to South Africa. I attribute that to Doyoyo. I attribute that to my big brother, Malalo DIY. And so I'm just very um, heartbroken right now, but I wanted to share that story to encourage you to say that um, Doyoyo's legacy will live on beyond uh, today. Um, he has made a legacy that will affect all of Africa and, and probably um, most of the world. Um, you, you've heard about all these inventions. Um, I just want to express my sincerest uh, condolences to the family and um, his close colleagues as well. And I'm just looking forward to the impact that his work will have on our humanity. Thank you and take care. Pas Pascal, are you here? Let's, oh, the keyboard guys are not here. <laughs> But you can sing. I heard uh, stories that you and the prof, the prof used to have some few songs. That one, I don't know what you used to say. Can you sing? I can't sing to save my life. <laughs> I can't sing to save my life. <laughs> yeah. Tobe, uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Pascal Masha. Uh, I'm accompanied here by my partner, Elvis Nzoane. We are representing our company, uh, Third Alternative Solutions, which is actually a family. And uh, Malalo recently became part of it. Uh, I want to say to the Malalo family, Shifiwa, we, we are lost for words. We've, we've lost, we've lost uh, something unimaginable with... Uh, uh, prof we, we, we were introduced to each other by a mutual uh, friend uh, uh, pizza and uh, the day we met him <laughs> I, I made them a wonderful mistake and I called him uh, dr. Mlo, Mlo, uh, Mlalo he said uh, no 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 it's prof <laughs> I said sorry doc uh, which one he said chief it's prof <laughs> jokingly so that uh, led to a lot of uh, con convoluted conversations of that nature uh, and then we, d we had many discoveries uh, in terms of peer-to-peer -peer and what what we could do together uh, quite recently obviously his uh, we were joined by uh, uh, his, his uh, recent discovery of his product uh, liquid cement otherwise known as lesem as most of you know the product and some of you do not, uh, the invention. And we wanted to basically explore that as, as, as a partnership together. And we went about doing that in a very, uh, I'll say, a genuine process where we know that we don't know the full potential of his discovery, but our, our, our aim was to invest together, sweat capital and all kinds of uh, 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 initiatives to make sure that we can commercialize the invention in either one stage or another. I think there will be a lot of recollection of the genius of uh, Mulalo. But I, 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 I remember driving with him and he was, uh, we were listening to Bob Dylan. Hey, I don't know if everybody knows who Bob Dylan is, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I did not know Bob Dylan until that day. I knew Bob Dylan and uh, I think uh, Prof regards him as a musical genius, you know. And I said, but Prof, uh, you, you yourself are, are a musical genius, uh, you are a genius or regarded as a genius, so I just think this guy is crazy, you know. 
because of the concepts of his music. And uh, he said, you know, besides the fact that you met me and uh, my introduction was, was prof, it's not about the title. It, I actually never care what you call me as long as you know I'm Gobala Masen and you call me Gova, that's the biggest credit you can ever give me. So I'll say to his family, I've, I've learned to know him better than what we were doing. And uh, look, we, we are forever accessible in terms of that regard. And it's befitting that we are at uh, this institution of learning when we remember him because after that day, when we kept referring to him as Gova, I realized that his focus is only on one. Uh, education is not for just being smart, for the titles, for the accolades. He wanted to manifest every ounce of knowledge that he had and that he could collate to make it into a positive future for all. And that's what we'll remember him for. Uh, and uh, rest easy, big brother. Uh, we'll, he'll definitely be forever missed. To the family, we remain a family. Uh, please reach out to us at any given time you have now our contacts. It took a while, but will forever be, be part of this family. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He's, he's the one who speaks the most. He took my three minutes. One and a half. Yeah. Uh, uh, to the Doyoyo family and to everyone who's in here and everyone who joined through the, the online, greetings to you. And... Uh, uh, I'll be just very brief. I'm, I knew Mr. Doyoyo through Cataplanche. That's the, the first time I see the video. And when I saw that video, uh, I knew this is a game changer due to the business nature that we are in. We are in mining, engineering, and construction. So when I saw that video, I couldn't hold on it. I shared with him and I told him on the WhatsApp and say, Pascal, this genius innovation is going to make a dent in the world. And I started to research more about uh, Prof. Doyoyo Malalo because I, could, I didn't know about him before until I saw the video. And by coincidence, later on, uh, we had a mining event where we invited a friend who came with a friend uh, called Pizza. And as we are around the table discussing what type of business we are doing, and then Mr. Pizza introduced us to say, guys, there is a, a technology called liquid cement. And I jumped on Pizza to say, I saw the video. And I've read about Prof. Toyoyo Malalo. And that is one of the innovation that will take the world by storm. And he did introduce us to, to, to Prof. Toyoyo, and then that's where we started to know each other, and then we started to work with him. So we met last year, September, and I think uh, they've robbed us from the great genius uh, from Mr. Toyoyo. I will always remember him. Uh, I think the previous speakers already said that when he calls you, he will take long on the call, two to three hours. And I knew when he calls me, after we had our brainstorming session, he'll always call and say, Elvis, do you know my brother? Uh, regarding yesterday's brainstorming, I'm thinking we should do the following. Once he can say that, we should do the following. If you are driving, you just park on the side of the road, you know. If he can say, I think we should do the following, then we're going to talk two, three hours. So, uh, to the Toyoyo family, uh, during these hard times, our thoughts and prayers are with you. It's a great loss to the entire country, to the entire world. Uh, we were still looking forward to, to work with Prof. Mulolo Toyoyo. So, it's unfortunate that he has been taken earlier while we're still trying to know each other. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You can see the nature of a person who are celebrating today. 
one of the scholars of our age, a young man who has also done wonderful things in the world of economics and uh, because of poverty I tried teaching at Mukura Secondary School and I happened to teach this young man Dr. Kartus Kita let's listen to what he says Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Ocean Engineering. Professor Doyoyo is one of a kind. But when you are doing that, I never see engineering. As a university, you know, center at Sinina MIT. But Professor Doyoyo is all around. The guru is all around. The guru is not tropic in anti. In a bangai umbura, in a bangaba chikonyago e amba nabo doyoyo, but the one about Professor Doyoyo, Obosaramian. Professor Doyoyo. Hamses was never what Rangaba was doing up. He was also a poet. Robert Richard Richard Tangan and about Professor Doyova, Vashita Maori, Babuzeva to Zori, Nendifi DYY. Robert Doyoyo. Munawabane, so at the Baru Ridoyo, Tina do visa DIY. Richard Tangana and our Professor Jeff Dai, Raro the Kangway Club, the Robonia Providence, Une Brown University, Evo Doyo, Janone, a school of which a PhD, Yaba on. Own a club by Evo Professor Doyo. Wava she the writers of Rindi, Honey, Navamo Majudini, Navamo Vasava Majudini. One I should wish to render KCHF truthful truths. She would do you well as a fizzy which render names one of its horrendous most horrendous never got the baba and as well. Nakan is a good thing, dear you and dear you, but drop over foundry by Africa Chipembe Nalipasingo Angara Halo Wojakiwa Zopera or as do it. Mutawa do you. Banaba wo Professor Doyoyo, zikonani na mashaka. Kaba wani kutazo na pumuto. Marugana na izuzo ite yao. Azitowelei, muya wabo Professor Doyoyo, uwe dire nga mrao. Nda. one of the most prominent sons of our province who comes from here because in the celebration of excellence and innovation and legacy we have to go there this friend and uh, a family member was the editor of two prominent newspapers in South Africa. I think he edited the City Press and he also edited the Star newspaper. And you know when you're an editor, it means he was the boss of those newspapers. 
he worked in the Soweto and he worked for many newspapers. He's coming to represent the family, Katumamaila. We'll, let's sing a song. Where are the musicians? Let's sing a song as he comes in here. The last time I know he can sing. For the people of Munich, Germany, Albert Einstein was that ordinary fellow who struggled with metric. But to the global science community, Einstein was a genius whose theory of relativity still guides scientists throughout the world. For the local community of Ginsberg outside King Williamstown, Steve Bantu Wonke Biko was just a university dropout. But to the students and followers of Black Consciousness Philosophy, Biko is an icon of mental freedom, the ultimate hero, a martyr whose brutal murder by the apartheid regime continues to inspire all freedom-loving people across the globe. For the people of Dutuuni, Shilizima Rwara is just a boy next door, the son of Woshavani and Katuchero Marwara. But in the field of artificial intelligence, Professor Marwara is an international guru. He is highly decorated. He's a highly decorated academic whose huge achievements have made him to be recognized by the United Nations, which has appointed him to become the principal of the university of the United Nations University in Japan. For the people of Bethlehem, Jesus is just a son of a carpenter. And that is why to this day, the Jews struggle with the concept of accepting Jesus as God. For the people of Vonbre, Muralo Ruben Toyoyo is a boy from next door. Mwana Elisa Nabokurumbi, Muratwa Denis, Karazia Chifanyiso. Because we lived with him, because we ate porridge with him, because we saw him with, as one of us, we may not fully appreciate the fact that he was a rare breed and he was highly, highly gifted. Just to illustrate this point, Professor Marwara, who is an international icon by far, describes Muraro as his mentor. That must say something. Against all odds, he made it in life. He is a son of a migrant worker who only saw his father during December holidays. He studied in poorly state resourced schools. He came from an ordinary working class family background, but still made it. South Africa, Africa and the world will miss him. Those of us who are still on the journey to bestow South, to South Africa a more humane face will particularly miss him because his inventions would have accelerated the fight against poverty, unemployment, and underdevelopment. We will miss him sincerely as we need him as a living testament or exhibit to explode the myth perpetuated by racists that Africans contribute nothing to civilization. As counter-revolutionaries are regrouping, also using their coconut stooges and lakes to advance a false narrative that Africans can't govern because we are mentally inferior 
to Caucasians, we will need his inventions as proof and his writings to reject that racist assertion. A fitting tribute to give to Moraru is to use the new knowledge he created to give meaning to democracy by fighting poverty and ignorance. As the Doyo family, we are proud of you and we shall keep your works alive. I dare nga Muraru, Muraru. I dare kope chidere, Murauzi, Kuinda, Chinabe, Chinabe la babuya, babia wanabiri, Mula mchira wambuzi. Thank you, Katu. That's the spokesperson of the family in actual fact. And as we continue, we are going to listen to messages from sisters and cousins. Because today we have to speak. Tomorrow, because it's an official program, there are no many, there are no speakers actually. It's a very, very short program that we'll have tomorrow which will involve a lot of those official stuff. We're going to call upon a representative who will speak on behalf of the Mamaila Nagedi Rajkombo family. Uh oh, let me talk about, let me first uh, introduce this one from the cousins also. Uh, he's obviously a, from our aunt's side and from the grandmother's side. Dr. Takaran Zaga, who is the spokesperson of this university and the director of marketing and communication. Takara. When he finishes, I'll ask uh, uh, David Mamaila to speak on behalf of the Mamaila, Nagedi, and Rajkombo families. And then when they're done, it should be coming down. I'll ask from the Mativa, Zaga, Gumbu family. I'll ask Ndibu, Mativa, and Chris Zaga to come and speak. All of them are speaking very shortly. Three, four minutes, three, four minutes. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Prime Director, who also happens to be my cousin, uh, Kenny Matiba. Uh, let me also write on the protocols that have been observed by the speakers who came before me. But, uh, uh, Prime Director, uh, please allow me to preface my brief uh, talk by expressing a profound uh, gratitude to the Investor Vendor Vice Chancellor and Principal Professor Bernard Ntambeleni, who is in our midst. I know that you have introduced him uh, with his wife. Uh, Vice Chancellor and Principal, uh, we are really grateful that you allowed us as the family to have this memorial service here. So, ladies and gentlemen, as the program director has uh, indicated, uh, I am also a cousin to the late uh, Professor Muraro uh, Doyoyo. Professor Muraro Doyoyo's mother, Bo Muzuri Elisa, uh, it's uh, one of the daughters of our late uh, grandfather, Bo Magoro uh, Zaga. So that's how he's our uh, cousin. And without necessarily repeating what uh, all the speakers uh, have already uh, said, I think it's also worth uh, indicating that uh, I knew Muraro when uh, he was still very young, uh, particularly because uh, during school holidays, he'll visit us in Sibasa, uh, Nirwani. Uh, his grandmother, Bo Mudangawe Zaga, as the program director has 
alluded to. And I must confess that uh, some of us who had the opportunity to engage with him at his tender age, we observed uh, its uh, exceptional uh, talent. Uh, that's when we also realized that uh, uh, he is one of the great leaders. And this also confirms what uh, a number of speakers have uh, already said. And it is for this reason that uh, today we consider Professor uh, Moreiro Doyoyo as uh, one of the world-renowned uh, academics because of uh, his uh, innovations. But I think it's also important to indicate that uh, uh, we consider Moraro Doyoyo as a contentious person, uh, someone who likes uh, uh, bickering, uh, even when it comes to matters of uh, a trivial nature. And I think I should also share with you an example of what uh, we once uh, discussed, uh, I think it was uh, late 2022 or early last year, when he wanted us uh, to buy some shares in one of his uh, companies. And he said to me, hey, Mzara, uh, I'm sure you must be uh, very happy and fortunate to have uh, a cousin of my caliber. And when he started that, I knew that uh, Mo is going to come. And I said to him, yeah, I'm aware, Mzara, but I should also take into cognizance that uh, the maternal grandparents uh, contributes uh, a sizable percentage of chromosomes. And I even went to an extent of indicating to him that uh, uh, if my late grandfather, Oma Gorozaga, didn't uh, uh, give birth to your mother, who knows, perhaps uh, you wouldn't have been where uh, you are today. So that's how uh, we used to engage with uh, uh, but despite the, the fact that uh, I have described him as uh, the type of a person, he was not a person of resentments. Uh, even if uh, you argue with him today, the following day he'll be a completely different uh, uh, person. And as the family, we are actually comforted by the fact uh, that he has made uh, immense impact in the lives of so many people globally. And we are uh, very sure that uh, his legacy will remain with us for so many years to come. Uh, Program Director, may his soul rest in peace. Thank you so much. I called on David Mamaila to come and speak shortly. Let's make it quick. After David, we will call again uh, Tomboni Monza to come and speak. After Tomboni, Ndivuo Mativa will come and speak. Let's make it short. I know you don't speak much, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dorivoa, <laughs> Avana <laughs> Divarach Combo, Vane Avang as music is. A Murano meeting with General H. Cor. Bova thought to General Namurach Cor, which was soon by the movie Murano Otai. 
Monza, where are you? Achipeza Monza, Ndivuo, Mativa. Dimasi are about to vote. Kandiru Mrisima Ozi Areone, Nabahuli Saiva Areone, Vice Chancellor Wapano, Nabango Banyende Savativi. Zina langa ndifi munza aire ni masetoni. Atu wa anishitombo honi. Anishitombo honi ndi ya mmanyo wanga. Wa anishitombo honi ndi zikara zizanga. Goro sarabatu kana pezi. Nendo imapano. Nendo kwa chama baduru. Zikazi ni zote zichi zangenu. Badi wa imena nne. Zeni, sili, chakani, siwaga. Na baduru mrangi nae ni kati. Welcome, stand with me. Benda siwa wone na wone, they can come and join me. Irinero yi mapano, kumakuru wa shiwa bebwa na makuru wa watoyoyo. So, rewa zoranga ini undira. Rima pano rikori rojaki wa anongo jaki wa nino othi. I was pained uh, personally when I heard Uri Molaro is no more. But I was encouraged when I thought, Uri, oh my goodness, Molaro is such an achiever. He came into this world, he saw and he conquered. He managed to achieve what even few of us cannot even dream about. Uh, 
Zwe ya itazone duri, he has fulfilled his calling for Nushangoni. O itazwe muzimu amusikera zone. And he managed to fulfill that. It's called fulfilling your contract. And he has done that. He lived a very uh, purposeful life. He was a generous person. He was very loving. Oba na mpiru ya budi, yofuna ba mwabatu. I remember some time ago, Orenga X5 yawe, it was, it, was, it was a big car. Arimzwara. Driver guru ye, arimzwara, nendi ya opa. I think I'm I'll be very satisfied. And he did that for me. Even the thing that he invented, he wants you to take it home with you. Ushare with him his glory. I know, but he has achieved so much. And it, it really reminds me of the Bible. During his time, in the 30 years of his life, Jesus Christ was never recognized where he came from. He is now recognized 2,000 years later. The, 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 the intellect that Muralo left, we, we, they will be read by so many people. Let's believe Uri. Zauri, he was ahead of our time. And right now we are not understanding him, unfortunately. Mara, I would like to say um, in, in, in uh, finishing off is to you, my cousins, Nava and Nava Guru, what is that? And if I didn't know, be, be, uh, we, we are here to encourage you. Tendano Zori Moraro lived his life up until to the time where he was required to live. He was not to live a day longer. But also know that when a person dies, they, they don't, they, ba, 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 fa, na, ma, but they live forever in our hearts, and we will remember him always. We will remember his love, his generosity. Dear Ibuaba Tubote. Thank you. Thank you. Dibuo, where are you? All protocol observed. Mtawa Gumbu, Mtawa Zaga, Mtawa Matiwa, Mtawa Doyoyo, Hey Mitam, Yenda Ibarra Apunta, the Mita Yozra Onta Trombo, Lamati, Vane Baba Makazi. Tangawe, the one was gone now, Uri Namus in Novas Chao, Renanabas Ravashu, Redisara Rishka de Baro Faran, Ushaka, Urine, Uka de Apanda, Udo de Apanda, Uyanga Usa Perio, the Nizawudi, Rishkovona, Rishka de Kono Chimbira, Rishka de Divan, Rishka de Daleran. Gaini on the ear. Gauraro, Renesaba Zara. So where I over to you, not in the Zuri well. Rivati Recurira Navo Rengabe Muyomra Uchi at the Rangamra. No Vanama shoot. Musirika grade 10, Angi Mbibli Secondary School. Na dewana, nishiko jena klasi nginti na mraru. Riba zara, ripe tunti. Zobo na rao, rimu rao, kuna ndivo. Ndivo kuru, kana ndivo ine barbachi seze wa tosubo onore ya umtu una ndivo ya medicine na physical science. The complex problems is the mathematics si zoba zisi tuwa chitu kai. Lizutu zaya wachikono resolver naone ngotawa na nendo kono tusare ya chipinga chinji musindichi stakai ndoba ndichi yamba na mzara na re mzara Zino apa tishabu wana apa Mbaro tiku mpiringezi Mzara 
chimwe chipinga musi u break e break yo ve chirubva muzvara atomasa ra ku pringa nyore zvino ku pringa dza muzvara apa uri kono chimbira vendo kuti rova ka class ye eh ngavona competition ka ila class competition ni ovo uwera uwana so the arali test day of 50 amaze kana ya physical science ovo chikotoe uwana ya zo max so the uso ngurongi uwana max na nti kumbula rongo la yungwe test ya physical science havu ya urungu wakana ndi 2 wakana ndi 1 havu zizu ufya i wani yono kufiyo ngara ngara hapa vitu kama morandamu inga wa inga hapa inga hapa wani ya Urukoteo wana totala hapa vitu So vato zubo wana zori wana vutari wuhurusa hapa vitu So na mesa mzwara Ndoko no tusare ya zuinji Nga kamraro Ndinga zwa kamusi na namusi Ndo the wana na namusi ndika difunza huyu meze huyu ndo ndo tevelera meza nda wa na chimbira nga kawo na na msindika di ufunza ngani wa maithi matu kutukure neba amatiba ba gumbu na ba zaga rimu ya omura romzwara kwe tira za uo ndo ni uo ndo ni uo kutsumne we are still continuing with the messages from the family we should be wrapping up very soon. The program that we have, it's not what I have. So don't worry, we're almost there. I want us to sing a song. And in celebration of this legend, and we dance. As we do that, I'll be calling a sister, Dr. Mnyadziwa Zebu to come to the fore. I'm, I'm saying this because I know she loves singing and she will be dancing. And we're celebrating a life. Don't forget. We're celebrating the life of Professor Moraro Doyoyo. After that, I'll tell you the direction we're going. We have a few messages that won't last more than 10 minutes and then we will be done. Let's sing a song. Himurena Titepo Toba Fanera Burena Etitendo Toba Fanera Himurena Otitendo Toba Fanera Himurena Otitendo Toba Fanera Himurena Titendo Count your blessings. So just be prepared. I won't take time. The thing is that the gentleman and the giant we are going we are celebrating the life of. Uh, a lot of us are just seated. That was a jolly person. Why are you sitting like this? Why are you not dancing? Why are you not celebrating his life? He was a very jolly person. I know it's hating. You can ask the family. I was so hurt. 
but we need to celebrate this life because we won't do it anymore. Thank you. When I talk about my brother Muraro, he used to call me Karadzi. And then he would say to my husband, Vosibara. So there is nobody to call me Karadzi anymore. There's nobody to call me to call my husband Vosibara anymore. Nevertheless, Lord, thank you. My brother Muraro, the inventor, the scientific scholar, the giant and the guru of engineering. Uh, physically, he was a well-built, very conspicuous and well-dressed gentleman for the occasion concerned. Socially, a father of his two girls, jolly, distinguished person, very talkative, but mostly thinks to engineer one's mind and disturb one's peace and comfort zone, but with a good intention for the next person's development. When it comes to the financial issues, he had his own for all he wanted and all out to invite and nag those he cared for to buy shares in his own free and give also free ones to those he feels like giving. Mm -hmm. He was a sharing person. Psychologically, he was very intelligent and he was a mind pricker. Lastly, spiritually, he loved and had an owl for God and God's people and servants, listened in attentively to what pertains to God. Thank you. <clears throat> Count your blessings, name that one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessing one by one. Count your blessing, see what the Lord has done. Count your blessing, name them one by one. Count your blessing, see what the Lord has done. messages of nieces and nephews. <laughs> this was done purposefully so that everybody that needs to speak, that needs to celebrate the life of Professor Muraro Doyoyo can do that. Friends have spoken, the family has spoken, the pastor has preached. Now we're going to, he's our uncle. And after that, again, the Doyoyo family from the other side. It's uh, the Namate family, Tendo and Katu Namate will be coming. After that, the Doyoyo family, there will be Faranani, Farani Doyoyo, Chitabu, and uh, Medoyoyo. They will have one person speaking. They can all come at the same time. It's not a problem. They can all come at the same time and stand in here like the previous uh, uh, relatives did. The Namate family, are you there? Tendo and Kato Namate. Don't wait for a song. As we're singing, you'll be coming down. Immediately after that, the Doyoyo family, Faranan, Doyoyo, Chitabu, and Deme Doyoyo will be coming. Remember, it's three minutes. Um, Amen. 
azongole luboima pa pandau e rich kwamba nga marume angane acheo e marume mularo was one of a kind he he was unique in every way and we loved him as our uncle marume mularo the the day we had of uh, his passing was just a day before my mother's birthday we got to here on the 11th and the following day was my mother's birthday we, we were very crushed uh, we we could not manage to get ourselves to celebrate as we usually do i know that she's one of those people that he respected the most I know that she loved her very much. Marume Muralo is one of those I'm just hearing confirmation and confirmation of what we know him to be. Whenever he called you, you must make sure that all other things must just fall away because you're not going to speak for less than an hour. If you speak an hour, then you are lucky that that day uh, you did not speak much with Marume, because Marume had that deep sense of connection. You know, he 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 wanted to connect, and when he connected, he he did not just do it; he did it because it came from the bottom of his heart. He did it because it meant something to him. But to Kamalume de Mapfura Bador. He was also a, a a jealous type of person, a very defensive person. You you cannot touch his family and get away with it. Never. That's that's my room. I I remember when I was young, the Kadiri Sambuzi. Nda chitova na utanzure a tinga do shenge ziwa. Gori ndi asdori marume anga. I will come to the rescue and he will stand up and he will defend no matter what. Marume Marume was a giant. We 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 knew how smart he was. You know we were very fortunate at some point in our life. Uh, the time Musibach Kadijena Chikorombiri he stayed with us. So that's when we get to get closer to him and got to know him even much better. Because he was there and we always felt his presence. I was jokingly talking to uh, telling him during the time uh, there was time where we would have prayer services and Marume Murado would pray and at times he would pray in tongues and Marume Murado would pray and somebody would fall because of the anointing that was around him during that time I know that Marume, wherever he is, may his soul rest in peace. We we will always love him. We we will always treasure the memories. We will always treasure the wonderful time that we have spent with him. There is nothing that can replace him in our lives. We will forever miss him, and we'll miss those one-hour calls. Sometimes when he calls, I'll give the, call, the phone to my wife uh, to say baby uh, you can see that this project I'm working on we it's it's I need a bit of time so can you take care of Marume for me for a while she will talk to him for hours and eventually she will uh, he will ask Ugai Ten and when I pick that call, we'll then speak for another hour or so. So it did not matter that he has already taken an hour or so with my wife. The fact that I'm now available, we are still going to have that hour talk of hours. And he will ask about everything. everything. It, didn't, it didn't matter. There was nothing little to him. Everything mattered. Every little thing mattered. And... I see it. I am gonna miss it very much. We're gonna miss that that call that every now and then would come 
and you know that by that time everything else must cease and you give your consideration and your attention to Marume because that's how he is, that's how he was, a caring Marume. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay, it works. I was just testing a theory. Someone told me that if you're holding a mic, you can make anyone do anything. So I was just checking. <laughs> so maybe some men who are here can buy mics when they go home and test this theory. <laughs> but anyway, my uncle, I think we really, all of us, we loved our uncle so much. In fact, we love all our uncles a lot. Uh, one thing I know for sure is that God was happy with my uncle. 100%. Let me give you an example. If I give you my shirt, a shirt I love, as a gift, and then I come to your home two days later, and I find that shirt being used as a doormat, where people use it to just rub off the dust, how do you think I'll feel? I'll have a problem. Why? Because the gift is always connected to the giver. So my uncle, God gave him a gift and he used it. That's why I can be certain that God is happy with him because what God gave him, he came here and he did everything. He used the gift. Maybe what's left is for you to think about what God gave you, what are you doing with it? Because the gift is always connected to the giver. Okay. Yeah, now Chikoro Chofe I like teaching, sorry. And I hope someone took a lesson out of what I just said. So my uncle and me, we, we had a strange relationship. There were times we were happy with one another and there were times we would fight like crazy. Because my uncle was either very happy or either, if you know him, you know what I'm talking about. So we had that kind of relationship together. But he was my go-to person every time I was in need of something or I'm going through something that I don't know who can help me with. He's the man I would call. And he always had a solution even a solution which might not be so legal too. Yeah. My uncle could sort anything out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So when I had issues that didn't need prayer, I'd call him. That uncle, there's a situation here. So the biggest mistake I made in life was to go to the same high school he went to. Because for some reason he thought that I was like him. Because after I passed my trick, I did another mistake. I went to the same university he went to. So when I got to UCT, there was a problem because he called the engineering lectures. Cause, oh, another mistake was that I did engineering. Which to him was like, ah, this one is following in my footsteps. Little did he know that huh, we are not, I mean, no one can feel his shoes, like really, like no one. I mean, he's the most brilliant man I know on earth, like literally. I don't think there's anyone smarter than him. So when he got there, he told the lectures that my nephew is there and he's very bright. Hi. <laughs> and you can just imagine like how the lectures, when I entered the class, how, yes, I went to the same high school with him, you know, but we are not the same. So the lectures would have so much expectations when they ask questions in class. Uh, Deo's nephew, what do you think? Hey. <laughs> That made me to start banking classes because for obvious reasons that I was expected to fill out his shoes to a point where he called this other time to say, okay, Katu, please send me all your test scripts. You are coming to America to stay with me. Hey. <laughs> that time, high school used to pass with 40%. So that time, I think I'd written like about six tests. And five of them, I passed them the high school way. At university, it's a fail, remember? <laughs> university, 50% and above. And me, I was still passing the high school way. And he's asking for my scripts. He's like, no, I want you to come to America. 
to stay with me. So send me your test scores. I want to organize everything for you. Hey. I'm like, uncle, the only course that I made it halfway, it's one. <laughs> but still, with that being said, he never gave up on me. He kept believing that I was like him. I, don't, I still don't get it even today. Because even after I passed, yeah, I ended up passing. It is possible. I went somewhere where I could pass. Right? <laughs> to me with Americans to say, listen to Muturuanga, my nephew. And they would even do like email connections where some of them would say, no, we want you to come to the U.S. Because what you have is too, it's too big. We like what you're doing. But obviously me, I always feared that when they meet me, they would think that I'm like him. And those shoes are forever too big to fill. Even before, he, the last message he sent me was, Muduru, I remember the name of that movie. It's called 90 Minutes in Heaven. That was the last message he sent me. And before that, he called me and said, Muduru, you are going to be a millionaire. I'm like, Marume, how? You've been telling me this for the past eight years. Every year you call me and tell me the same thing, that I'm going to be a millionaire. I said, no, I invented something. Come and see it. He said, and I want you to meet this other guy. He's, he was featured by Forbes magazine. I was like, Forbes is for people who are millionaires. Marume, why must I meet that guy? I was like, no, he'll be at my place. Come to my home. I want you to meet this guy. And I was like, Marume, Mara, you keep telling me I'm a millionaire. Let's put a contract down. I was like, okay, Munduru. When I drop this phone, I'm going to send you a text with everything. And he did, Master Price. He sent me everything. These are your shares. Everything. He was like, Moduru, you were there when no one was there for me financially. You invested in me when, no one, when everyone stopped believing in me. You and your wife invested in me financially in a way that I can't even explain. He even came with some top CEOs to my home when I was with my wife to sign some contracts because he believed so much in me. And I hope that one day I'll be able to make him feel that I lived up to the standard he had for me. I will forever love my uncle. He's a man like no other. Thank you. <laughs> Obviously, we can sit here the whole day. Everybody has got a story. They robbed me. They spoke for more than 25 minutes. That's not fair. We still have people who need to speak. We deliberately wrote four minutes on each side because we knew people will be excited. You have beautiful stories. You're not going to rob me? No. One person will speak and uh, represents everybody. I know you have stories. Who's speaking? Uh-uh. You're not all speaking. One person. Nikorumi is our two thirds and they so Christo. Amen. Then the Kumbro Robert went to Serilo. Who do you mind them? That what what? I did very well. What the butcher men they want one. Da? Eh. Eh. Ne, Eh. Eh. Gabo, Uwaba mtu ane achifu na ufu na ngamanda. Na hii mweza hiti achita, uti ita ngamanda. Uwaba <laughs> e, mtu ane, zitulote zine bazita, 
na musi vha tshi shuma u tshi khou vhaṱalela na mini u vhona hu muthu ane a khou funa zwine a khou zwiita zwino hei ndi songo fhedzela vhathu vhothe tshifhinga a vha ri fhisi ndi khou remesa vhathu vhothe vha ri fhano a dzina la yeso ndongola message yakho Uh, all my life, most of what I want to be was inspired by Professor Malaro Doyog. Kadumbla chingo chupinga chikolo ni chidawa chwa noko ba University at Teflop. Dawa mtu wa watuwe wa viziwa. Uri ba adewa mbe nabu. Baba kwa mba nga mtu ane wafu na zune aita. Naone wafu na batu ende. Nga sisi dive zori ndi nyi nga ndira ene abangayo na batu. Bachi vusa madzina vafufi nendi fido yoyo. E ufana na ndangadzina ndavo. Baba vako expector na nendi vendi chifana nabo. Zino I would personally like to thank him for giving us the doyo privilege. Cuz when I'm in this scanning age of lobo, ba kore wononi ndi mwana wa mulalo doyo. Eh I've never met someone who loved who loved his culture and where he came from as much as him. And nanmezya ntutuweza uri mthwa chimbusori ndi ndi nyi ndi thome ndi menderi ndi mduru wa valauti kuinda. Eh boba vakotsianga. Vo tamba chipinda chikuru ko vakotsianga uchonyanga. Ndichi zwana zomba nga manda ngori ndoba ndi chikoloni une mwana mwe ari mwana wa mulalo ku eh ndorimo masiari eh nani wote da utamba chitori chamsi kuti mnene vakadzi vaone ndandi chiri kuti mnene afi he he ati fi kuti mnene ndi fi kuti mnene vogo nda nda vya da budzi story why va chiraro vambo dimbudza history ya the ancestors za honori rivagaite mumro no anga na sokori fomutane ono sikesa kule ono chimbilesa na mini wa rotherva divasa giant na mini von chitsumbedza uva rooted uri nangwe na sika gai ndi ndiyo ukhipa hune na baoni mbiruni ya nungori hune na baoni ndione na hanisa ndione unokono nishikisa hune na toya hone ndiyo zirelo umbro na kopa hone for the hour nji nji zewa wa chifona ndiko dumbra lingo dwe wa chifona kwa tufona la dedi wa chifona wa foni ya wo izraisi umuyani so batu wa fona ka fodi ya nga chifunga chindi kumbra wa chifona wa fona la Nendi koto dova la nga phone, vachi kwa mbana vo, nere kote na nendi koto da phone na fia, okay, ndo phone yeli wandi koto dova, una fela chawa, sofia, nendi koto da wanda vya mrau, vandi baba vuya, ndo vendo vya shikara dinga vo tri ya vya chia six, ukose kofika, tume afari ni anad do mi sela phone ukose yao, ndo vya mrau, so kasi mna na ndo do zirelo ba phone na, dali vo. Thank you. Kana rosa ranga ugai yako mchezaji mshumu. December he said to me, "Wosi ya vupi umutu asibuusha." Very, I need to see your fighting spirit. Very, you are going to run a multi-billion rent company. Fana kato. But you are going to fight with crocodiles. My uncle was my source of inspiration. Watching a phone, na barim duro uke. Wana nga uke tamin. Ndare ndiko bana TV. But ah, was the boy kare rishi wara kuzwa. Womdango ba chi jamushiji ba ushota ba ridoza kachiron. Ndare sisi. Bara ah, shono na mshanga wa mshiji, ndare titibi, bara shono wae asayu uida. He never wanted you to relax. 
baba chiri sukumedza eh baba chidzura ngori budzori varauzi avaluzi whether ndi kandwa whether ndi ka education whether ndi ka min ndibona ngari like hesh eh preja heilan ye baba chiri payone ya the do your son name or were good with mathematics were good with science watching a pongari wait a stuku wa fori you are an underachiever in the family zwari tshudzori ri dzwe tshidziso kumets i want to say to my uncle i will miss the three hours phone call from my drives from venda to pulukwan asking me uga ithendo ngacho shpinga thendo uchikwani bwambana ugai ipi utosumbedzo ri baba na ndaba na muthu mwe na mumwe ende ba chifunori ri dzure ri chichekana eh i'm grateful to have had access to the genius mind and ndingatori zwithu zwothe zwine bo ri zwi planta karine musi ba kha dzichira eh kathori mabutswa la afile zwa zwa tshutukutuku zwine ranga lengedza we will try thank you greetings again to everyone nandikadzia generation ya chuso vha songo tsuko mangala ndi khoso kwa da panda runjirunji ndoto mwala fas elisa that's what he used to address He said I reminded him so much of his mother who is my grandmother. My childhood is filled with so many adventures I experienced with him. When he visited I visited home every single time, my cousins, my brothers, uh, the former mayor Wachipango, my late brother Mwabiri and I would practically move in with him at the main house i was the only girl in the bunch so i had to learn to cook up for him very very early the only time i broke my pinky finger was when i was washing his car and he fed me muffins and oreos the whole week since i couldn't cook anymore we would have secret meetings talking about assigning the boys tasks because i was placed as the boss remember i'm elisa so i was the boss especially instructing devo tigo and meme um there's a lot of fun loving memories that i could speak about the whole day but let me not consume time anymore but what i would want to say right now is that it's very hard to talk about him in past tense Over Elisa Kabo was a privilege. He saw potential in me that I couldn't see in myself. With every decision I took, every career choice I wanted because I changed a lot. He was very supportive. He stood up for us, he fought for us, he protected us and above all, he loved us and his love was almost tangible. You wouldn't question it. My last text to him was I love you Kotsimnene. Thank you for always being a reminder that we are powerful beyond measure. I appreciate you and I love you so much. And then he answered, Ndialibu wa Elisa, I will always love you and I'm proud of the work you are putting together to be a greater person. Utayo piran Kotsim nene goba If you can hear me wherever you are I wish you could breathe for me for us Because when I was I was drowning in a heavy storm when I thought that life was not worth living I breathed for because you were there to hold my hand 
in a world full of uncertain things, I was very certain that you will always be there. I always thought that you'd see me getting married, having kids, and achieving all my dreams. I will always love you and hold on to all the principles that you instilled in me. Rest in peace, Kotsim Nene. Rest in peace, Kotsi Anga Mutuku. Go Amasenga. 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 Go Eh ndi chifama wafungwa wa tuwa kwa tisi mnene, dando chuwa. Daruna matina doyo ya ufiwa ite ani, wachinyarani. Barakazo zonda dhera mzimu ndivu ni wano zutiva. Dumbulachu nishpenga kare kwa tisi mnene ovu ya rovu ya ari, uko toda ya makonde. Uwenyango dhivori, mwari, uvavi. Sino kazo ya mbezo tezo yifurao ya zifuri kwa tisi mnene, Mutua, where I watched the Dosanga Mando di Bori Chichikova Horne Wetia, Mini Rene Robai Sara Gauri, Ascarol Covori Ranga December, Marana Jazom Zimo Batteris or Oak, the Chingari Caris of Pandano Fara and Avaratuanga, Avaria from Brown to Varatuanga and Akarats, Mazama Vadar Farisa. Kutsim nene mwia wawudu wa deranga mraro. Kutsim nene mraro wabati nisanga banda na kutsi anga wawo robeti doyoyo. Roba isara. Kazo zoi. Mwuzimu wa dorifarisa. Wawo mchimbiza mshumo. Rori wa chwinga. Wa mbu yela. On tipa mama, sweet sweet, iwe wampa, hara hara, one ha, asana ate, zambi mo, mami, iwe wanda, da. says I'm gonna speak on behalf of all of them greetings to you all professor Mrelo day was the best uncle in the world the only uncle who met her to me an uncle who had always been there for me emotionally and with schoolwork. I loved him and I still love him. Calling him my uncle was my biggest flex and pride. Not because of his fame, but because of how kind and generous he was towards his own family and other people in the world. He taught me to be who I am. I am who I am because of him. If it wasn't because of him, I am sure mathematics and science would have still been my biggest problem. He might have not taught me physically, but every time I studied, I had a mindset of wanting to be just like my uncle, which made him my role model. I might have lost my father, but he was my father, and now I lost him too. He used to be my, encourage, my encouragement in schoolwork, and he still is. He used to tell me, Uzi, I am a future scientist, and, <clears throat> and 
for sure I will make him proud. When I started attending school at Muri Secondary School, teachers used to tell me about his skills and intelligence. They used to tell me that I have to study and become just like him. I miss my uncle. I remember the last day that I saw him and he was joking around and he said he doesn't like my pimples and he gave me a hair product to apply on my face as a joke. I'm glad he taught me his great experiment before he left us and that's the day he told me Uri Moduru and was scientist. I am proud to call him my uncle. There is nothing to live for anymore so I just gotta pull myself up. Someone once told me that people might wish good for you but they will never want to see you overcome them or just do better than them. But I know he wanted me for the better. Listen to this poem. A light from our family is gone. A voice we love is a voice we loved is settled, is settled. A place is vacant in the home, which never can be filled. We have to mourn the loss of one we would have loved to keep. But God, who surely loved him best, has finally made him to sleep. After a lifetime of his love and joy and music to fill our ears, God leaves us with these wondrous memories to help us with these tears. I love you, Uncle, and I hope you have found your peace. I will leave you with Matthew 54. Matthew 5 verse 4 which says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Thank you. I must say about what? I defend the word of you. Then the more one over to the Gariba to Uruba to your Bane, Nandi Safinoti. Then the moon to any of us of no city. Rombongo, name Malmanga Uba Lamuamutuane, a Rano de Ambor, Rarish Tangana, a Dunicruan, Adroyo, and I want them to never travel, make a cover to water. Ne, I want them to never do it as so far, Kawamoba, and the Nadish discipline you. Would you watch one go to our own Combori? I, Marumo, what they were so so, Maranendi Mumutuane, Nero Fanam Pam, wow. Through Number <laughs> As as the person go be a canne, ah, that person who no rent the coat of Kuda, Swingy, deep down, Baba Chis, Baba Mumu to one of your gory, me the best say, Gaman de Sori, Sunis of Waitia, Pachamon, do wait here, me. Carabas and Fu in Era, begging as a very, and the Gombor Nina Bangan, not to Nabangana, a child, a child view. Eh, I like college to Jen, I'm going to watch the road to war, as the world of college Jen, I'm going drop it. Nadu <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you guys. You did redeem the time. We were going into what we call a video clips and photo montage. As we were playing those photos, just watch closely. Those are good moments of uh, Professor Muraro Doyoyo. Immediately after those video clips, which won't take time, I'll call upon the siblings.
these are the brothers and the sisters of Professor Muraro. He comes from a very intellectual, gifted family. You will see. They're all like that. Extremely gifted. So let's play those clips. And uh, as they're playing, they're only about four minutes, if I'm not mistaken, and then we'll be calling upon the siblings to come. They will introduce themselves so that you can know them, so that we can know them. And uh, as they are the chief mourners here today, and then we'll tell you where we're going. We're almost done.
let's sing a song as Bavenda Wodoyo is leading the siblings to the front to pay tribute to their brother. He was one of the younger brothers, of course. Bavenda. So we streaming um, I would like also to acknowledge again his daughters who are with us online Amalia Shango Doyoyo and Olivia Muzuri Doyoyo I know you are watching it's your aunt I know you always say I'm beautiful it's your beautiful aunt Chipiwa um, I would like to observe all protocol but uh, let's um, carry it away. I know you don't understand my niece, nieces out there. That uh, we were just uh, trying to give all accordance in, in terms of our culture. We have a chief here in our presence. I would like to introduce all my siblings. I will start with the eldest, Bavenda Bodoyoyo. He is our elder brother. He is on, on my right. And my elder sister, our eldest sister, Azwindini, um, and who, that who follows Bakoma uh, Bodoyoyo, Hatebera Karazianga Bodenisi Doyoyo, and here is my younger sister. I just wanted to give the introduction also, especially for the people watching online so that they can understand. We are Prof. Muraro Doyoyo's siblings. And I will give now first to our elder brother, Bavenda Wodoyoyo. And uh, and 
Penda Katim Parichauri Ihan, which is Pis and the Amber, which is Rotor and the Pumu. Zazunundi Ko Nyagwamba were in nineteen sixty nine. I will not throw to Kurgamanda Venda. Uh, the government of the time in 1970 they declared 1970 a water year I don't know if this water year has got any connection with the birth of my brother maybe most people who were born that year are all at the same level as him I don't know but that's when my brother was born I was already at uh, Chibase High School, so you must understand he was too far away from me to be very close to him. But one day I went to, uh, I went home and uh, I asked him, uh, what standard are you doing now? And he said, I'm standard two. I said, okay. So I was with a friend who was, um, what do you call the thing where it was corresponding metric and there was a set book English set book when I was standard two over there home to end up and deny I sat the beach vendor. I'm Dalusiza, Gachizur. Book will I ought a way home to reach a woman and Rawi, or I know the sharp vision out of national end of the one of us than the two. The only end of Tomo Bonora, I want to go on or to do sugar can and go time. So, I reached a I actually the focus of the engineering at the National Museum. I actually passed a metric. I wrote this book on a number of numbers. I wrote a lot of numbers. I wrote a lot of numbers. I wrote a lot Ramutara na kupati nyana na kusongoto fumangamanda. Arekane wunji ya vets. Dar vets bako nyaga nishita mene. Arekane gandhi shita briji. Dar for how long? Are one year. Dar UCT burumi. Are wunji ya na UCT. Dar varendo ita briji ina. Are no. That your brain doesn't want you to do preaching, go to UCT. The real child UCT. The real child is America. So no longer the world will be America. Road to the record the assets. When I show my child, I think don't get sold or I don't think I'm not bad. I don't think I'm not any guy. I'm not gay. So no, the amount of story. I need to find America. Why need to buy you kuwa? Ufanana nendi sai ngoya wa Ameri, watu baadhi wa Ameri kwa mbaju kwa chingwa hivyo chisa hawa na japa. Ara yule ni sutoe itio. Ndi klasi ni ndi kufunza, ndi funza ngachi chile cha ngi Ameri kangu ri. Hichi chini na kwa mbaju chini na bonye hafa, banga chisikoni, banga sisi fasese. That okay. And then, zuri. I could do that. 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 Presentation is yes, I are. That okay. I could do that. I could do that. Presentation is yes, I are. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. Every chicken wala vakaj gontiri. I don't want a rabu. That wouldn't that's line. It was something like that in there, but what's here? I don't see anything. The judge in Taruch says, well, no, we are, we are showing you the strength of this object by shooting at it. 
So this is this scratching here is the way things happen. And that's what I'm going to present at CSIR. I'm sure they enjoyed the presentation. But in short, without uh, taking too much time, uh, I love all my siblings. And that included him. And uh, beginning of this program, I thought I would not be able to stand here and talk. Uh, I'm hurt not only because of what happened on the 11th, but also because of what happened on the 25th of December. We are very hurt. Thank you. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, today is another day. I don't think I can talk like I used to do. But in a way, Muraro is my youngest brother. Uh, as my elder brother said, at our home, or all our, we love each other as siblings. Uh, Muraro, people said he talked for hours and hours. In every one of us, Muraro talks for hours and hours. Udwa Ambara Neta, Adrobafuti, Eze Akwamba Newowo Neta, Whatever is up on the mate, you would never take a bad day of a never about or Roger, Baco Shabori, Anga Pedzi. On the cavalry, Nibabu Zezu, Tukutu, Muraro, Nendich two and the chair, Nemate, Domsia, and a seven years. Over Akadibam Tuko. No Banama should our Musi Achia Chikoroni Chambiri. Ada Azurana Napa Maquarera, Mimwa Mirar, Uvaka, grade ten, Uskaka, grade twelve. And I over Tia de Bazorio Vichy with Ophimini by then. Oh, from three. I are a are a are a rich. And I want to watch because we face a orange Murray will be you. Eh, Muraro, Zabachi, Manga Zangazum, Sandish could Zura Nai. Raris Nandu Kura and Radish Zuraka for room. And I was no patron out of in the study room on the Varahon. Muraro over at Chivala Rosa sitting room, Rich Cobona TV. Mara. Casualties now the work of Zubara over at his fences, a major one of our Chimangara, Wabia Nura. Oh, you must have a devil, I want a potion, Gapangapa, Oko Zifana. Matina, or you must, and the moon was over at his fang and dry away, a pet the apasas or raro. No double foot in the Pambana Namaro, Musachi to a shake town. Muraro over at Chifunam Zimus as usual and be one. The Zumbra Musia Chipeza, Cape Town. Roba Chad was or Robana Rufu, and Robana Zumus, Robana Rufu, Hyania, I should chat was or in Rain. Bafunzi, Beavana, Cape Town, Roto Hanga Mazina, Bosigera, Eva Toda, Napano, Bachkota, Witnessa, Zinera Kotanga, and Azonach in a church being. Gaur Murarui, Saizono, and the one to Mutu Wana wa mianga oba achifuna watu, nga manda. Eno oba achiri musera rene oita chitu, chabudi. Oba achiri vuza na rene rote, sa the siblings zawe. Na musi owi na, na ifin, minimini ya nige ya Amerika. Una chifinga chia wana, hui mini Nobel minya. <laughs> eh? Nobel Prize. Odi dar vuza orundu wana. 
Chaupezi serajia mbu zangura atuko todo rafisa nani. Ndi musi mudinu wawe o wana chitu, o wana o, o trumbura. Zia trumbura zone, ari kame, achi mfonera, ari karazianga. Hapa noni ne mudzimu one ya madi. Ndiri nukuhamba minini chiraru. Ari ndikori mudzimu one ya madi karazianga. Wana bafuna roto oda watu zvona. Are haya noni madhi. O, ndi, fimini, ndi semen. Are ndi doba rumera video. Ya rutu zunenda kuita. Nga madhi hayo anenda kwa amba one. Achi ntumera video nda wanauri. Matina ukwa amba zhidina. Are yezu zhidina zhu kwa tanga manda. Upirisa zhidina yezu noni zhuneza wazu shikoto usuku wa umwe petu. Musi zora ro abati kudia mbaori ushano una bato bane ukorengi sa zishes zawe na nayo dorompa udorompa zishes kajezo ori na nayo ndi benefit kamshumo ni akuita wal. Robert sa zidi vizuri mura ro tino tuwa mura ro ba una bati tino tuwa musi achi kuiwa na madia yo ane akwa mbango rendi kwa wapera wao. Mwana ulo ndo mtu uwa. Ndi dotu ba smile chawe. Ndi dotu ba rufuno rawe. Achi mfonera ararine. Achi kwa amba na ne. Kamwe ambela ntasa zuneba tuwa mdibisa zona. Udore zuno ne achi kwa zubo na zoro za zuno ndi kwa ngandono ne. Tanga kwa ambele kwa u. Uru wazu diba zoro zuno za wajaya mbeba chambisa zuno. Ndo wende sa shifuni. Aba dumbo di rembulu ara. Mas tu vas jorar na época da zico, vou cutu com de bafu nanga manda. De bafu nanga manda. Vou na terra de na época da zico, vou cutu cutu. Vou na cabana de na terra de ter chauri na chauri. Dar a aí, já sou chauri na chauri, já na cutu de ter chauri. De doutor manda a mba na vá, vou na cuya cai noi. Aba com essa panda que mas não usou o verde, já andré é na ior. A bebê vou na vas tu vas jorar de vou na mianga. Hezuna ni achi kuamba ngoraru, udawa akuamba zoe zuri, udawa ako drobo lora zoe zuri iwo ubuya uri yes, hezuna ni akuamba zone, uri kaya aita zone, moraru owa achi rifuna, rido mtu wanga amanda, sa family ya hawe, ai rido mtu wesa mno amianga, duri bo. Ndi ma siare watu wote, ndi kuru meri sa watu wote inga zina la mchizu wangana ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ne ange doyo yundi ne last bono. Ndi ma siare watu wote inga zina la mchizu wangana ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ne ange doyo yundi ne last bono. Ndi ma siare watu wote inga zina la mchizu wangana ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ndi ma siare watu wote inga zina la mchizu wangana ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Ndi ma siare watu wote inga zina la mchizu Ambizeni ni rugova, ndaro kikova, aria. Rito mbote wa rugo choma, rechi kwa amba mafungo, ndito driver uva Luis Rochati, usika Johannes Bega, rechi kwa amba rote, asa stopi. Ndishiri hape ndiko driver, nama driver, ibe ni pasi, nga apoti, riambe. Ndito ba ndishi kwa amba nae, oba achi mfunanga manda, achi rini, kukara zikuwa nga kutuku, kutuku, dini funa zone, ende no tanya, wae nisa isi panda na badokote la mara. Ndiso kore, hey, ndiko mfako wala buku mani. No, mara anyway, riri muya wamra roe terenga mra ro, rito sara ro farana, rito discipline singo torari, rifu na nanga manda, gamanda, di kuri bo, may you all rest in peace. Um, I can speak very much for hours, just like my brother, and. Just like Morindini has said, um, I'm also Muraro, younger sister, little sister. He will call me little sister. That's how he will introduce uh, himself, myself to, to everyone. Um, but right now, I would like to uh, render this poem. Uh, 
when great trees fall by Maya Angelo. When great trees fall, rocks on distance hill shudder, lions hunker down in tall grasses, and even elephants lumber after safety. When great trees fall in forests, small things recoil into silence. Their senses eroded beyond fear. When great souls die, the air around us becomes light, rare, sterile. We breathe briefly. Our eyes briefly see with a hateful clarity. Our memory suddenly sharpened, examines, knows unkind words unsaid, promised walks never taken. Great souls die, and our reality, bound to them, takes leave of us. Our souls, dependent upon their nature, now we shrink, wizened, our minds formed and informed by their radiance fall away. We are not so much maddened as reduced to the unutterable ignorance, dark, cold caves. And when great souls die, after a period, peace blooms slowly and always, irregularly. Spaces fill with a kind of soothing electric vibration. Our senses restored, never to be the same. Whisper to us, they existed, they existed. We can be, be, and be better, for they existed. Um, I think I uh, would we'll like uh, Katu, there is a video message that we recorded uh, for Dennis, our brother, uh, if maybe we can share that message from Dennis. I am Dennis Rufuno Doyoyo, one of the elder brothers of Moraro. Moraro came after me. Growing up with him was full of joy and uh, love and joy. We were just normal village boys. We had a good school. We went to school like any other child in the village. We never thought about things that we is was going to achieve. I became a math and physics teacher. I used to, to break into my students and the fellow teachers that I have a younger brother in the street. Whether I was in class teaching or marking papers, everything had to stop. If my brother phone, when he, when he was far away, our brother was still intact. 
When he returned home, he used to go everywhere with my kids, stealing my kids from me. <laughs> but also he would spend hours seated and talking about life and how how far we have come. Years later, life happened to me and he stepped up to take care of and guide my children. As he saw, I will forever be grateful for that. I am really proud of all the things he has achieved in his lifetime. I will pour out everything he had to the world and everyone he loved. I am at loss. I am broken. I thought he would bury me. He will love you, Muraro. Until my dying days, I love I cherish our fond memories. In the light on the wall, my darling Amara. The value of life is not in its duration, but in its donation. You are not important because of how long you live. You are important because of how effective you live. And most people are concerned about growing old than, rather than being effective. Miles Monroe. We crossing over to his children, Amalia Shango Doyoyo and Olivia Muzuri Doyoyo. If Magoma will represent Olivia, Amalia will speak for herself. Most of my life, my father and I spent apart, but many things can be expressed even from halfway across the world. One of these things is love. I've always felt so much love from him, even after all of our time apart. He always let me know how special I was to him and his community. I've never doubted that he missed my sister and me and thought of us often. Another thing that can be expressed even from thousands of miles away is pride. My father had so much pride in my sister and me. He would always remind us of how intelligent and strong we were and always assured us that we were capable of doing anything that we set our minds to. It was always very uplifting to hear his words of support for me, even when I was going through difficult times and didn't feel proud of myself. Regardless of where I ended up in life, I knew that he would always be proud of me and proud to call me his daughter. He also had so much pride in his culture and wanted to share it with me. Most of our recent conversations consisted of him sharing information about the Binda language and history. I'll always remember the stories and papers that he sent me, and I'll continue to learn about his culture and his life on my own, as it was important for both of us. And I had just as much pride in him as he had in me. I would tell all of my friends about him and his work, and they would always be so impressed. He was an incredible, extremely intelligent, talented, and hardworking man, and his dedication to his work and career will inspire me for the rest of my life. I am so proud to call myself his daughter, and I'll still tell my new friends and family about him years down the road. His impact on me and so many others will stand the test of time for decades to come. 
The memories that I do have spending time with him are faint, but they are a gift that is so important to me. I remember all of our times in Atlanta playing soccer and visiting museums and parks. I remember the times when he would visit North Carolina and bring us gifts. I wish that we spent so much more time together, but I'm so grateful for what we had and what it's given me. I love my father so much, and I'll always regret not speaking to him more while he was here. But I'll never forget everything that he has given me in the short time that we spent together. And I hope to continue his legacy of strength and dedication for the rest of my life. I wish that I could be here in person today, and I'm very heartbroken that I couldn't make it. But we are planning to come soon, and I can't wait to see the town and meet the people that my father was so proud of and excited to tell me about. Thank you all for allowing me to speak today, and I appreciate you all being here to celebrate my father's life. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hoping that I'll be able to represent you guys, <laughs> but I'll do my best. We are born with our hands closed, with our passion inside the hands for every individual to unfold. These are the words from my father that I think very much represent who he was as a person. I would like to thank my father for helping me discover my passion as a child because they are still with me today. I can thank him for fostering my interest in soccer. So many dribbling moves he taught me in the driveway as a kid stuck with me throughout every year I've played the game. He's the reason I root for Chelsea during Premier League games and root for South African men, wafana wafana, and women, wanyana wanyana, any time they play. I want to thank him for opening my mind to how important it is to help others. He instilled this thought in me and that that is the origin of my perspective on how to live life. He showed me the importance of helping others and I always admired the way he did everything with a reason and always looked out for other people, especially the less fortunate. The care he had for others was reflected onto his career and gave me more reason to work hard in school. I have so many fond memories of my father. I remember grocery trips, grocery store trips with him, hearing Bob Marley songs over and over and over again in the car. I remember our adventures and how much fun we had, and will always cherish these memories. He was a very loving and caring to me and my sister as we grew up. He is the smartest person I have ever known, and I think many others can say that about him as well. I will continue to honor him by helping others with my work in the future. Because of this, I am proud to call him my father. Thank you very much. Those are words from the siblings and the children. You can see that his life has spanned many generations from here to far off lands. We're almost done. What's going to happen now is that we're going to sing a song and stretch a little bit. And after the song, we're going to play a multi-video segment 
this will be the works of his inventions. How many people do you know have invented anything in South Africa? None. Government won't tell you. They don't even know who invented what. But yet an inventor lived amongst them and they didn't use him. I blame some of us. I introduced him to government when I still worked for government. I'm retired. Unfortunately, it's like some guy in the Bible, he was reading and uh, somebody asked him, what are you reading? Do you understand what you're reading? And he said, how will I know? I grew up here. It was a fun life, and we used to look after goats and cattle and sheep. Everybody was happy. This is Venda. Hey, uh, Nendiba Vongwe, Lotoma Oni Primary, and I do and I generally and I am primary na junior uh, secondary uba chidimbi ni secondary nda ya mbiwi secondary enda peso ni matric uba kama matric mbiwi nda ya nda jena mingwanya na university ya cape town uba university ya cape town nda mbudio jena america mm -hmm. america ndo tumo jena ka university no fi brown university mm -hmm. ire new england mm -hmm. ndi north ya new york mm -hmm. Then over Brown University, the the engaged Punzo Zanga Massachusetts Institute of Technology, mm -hmm. Kana MIT. Mm -hmm. Then the one uh, uh, one the collaboration, the one the PhD, Yasu mm Tama. -hmm. Uva mm -hmm. ndi ezo, nda mbuditoma u u idastu zinufi post uh, doc, mm -hmm. aninge MIT. Mm -hmm. Uvanchipe sa post doko ndambu ditomo funza ka eh, Ocean Engineering Department mm -hmm. ya MIT mm -hmm. inezu nuweri na kenika. Mm -hmm. Musi ndi chuko funza nda ndi kuita research nda wakazo wa zitawane nda woshume sana za zigoo. Mm -hmm. eh, ndi chuko shuma nene zi company kuru mm -hmm. za, za, za zigoo mm -hmm. sa vo Volvo vo BMW mm -hmm. um, Uvako ndambu difukera Georgia Tech, mm -hmm. Atlanta, hange nda shuma ka civil and environmental engineering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Marakami shume anga yote, nda woro ndi shume sanga manda na mabindu ya niya azigurui mm -hmm. na haya amupo. Mm -hmm. Nani ya mangwe mabindu ya zume zune, eh, zotale sao zume wo zune nda itatoa. Mm -hmm. Nda. <mulia> Chikombera, all those things, you know. I mean, I've lived in so many big cities in the world, but when I see this, I feel very lucky to have been born here. His brilliant career has taken him to the world's foremost universities, but it's... <laughs> some organic chemical that they exude in their bodies. And that chemical is basically this. It's one of my ingredients of the cementless concrete, my invention in the USA. This comes from this kind of stuff.
My name is Moraro Deloyo. I'm a professor of engineering. I want to talk to you about a product called Liquicel. It's a liquid. This liquid is used to activate fly edge to behave like normal cement. <laughs> that you guys are seeing it absorbs carbon dioxide which is also another positive thing mentors so at mit i started working a lot with the car companies ultralight consortium on automobile structures to create more fuel efficient cars. This is where he met Roland Gustafsson, a former director of Volvo Technology Corporation. Uh, I was uh, first of all very impressed of his work at MIT and later on at uh, Georgia Tech. Would you classify Professor Doyoyo as an exceptional scientist or engineer? Both. <laughs> I've been doing research for, for so many years, so I, when, I, when I see the excellence, I know it. Professor Doyoyo's liquid cement seems to have endless potential, versatile enough for simple applications like garden furniture and filling in potholes, and strong enough for big structures like bridges and water reservoirs. It's definitely, it's a game changer because here you can make cement out of fly ash and some chemicals on the side. I mean, it's a huge invention. So He's always imagined a different world and has come up with inventions that are set to change the lives of millions of people. Professor Moraro Doyoyo has studied and taught at several universities in the U.S. But coming from a family of 10 in rural Limpopo, Professor Moraro had to fight very hard to make it in life. I think at that time he visited me and made him a big party because we were now looking forward to this young man going to do what he wanted to do. It was at the height of Afar. He's got lots of energy and he wants things done and he wants it done now. And that's one of the things I, I've, I find definite about him. Things have got to be done now. Reading different books seemed to end. Something good for Americans, whereas you can come and do something good for the South Africa. South Africa salutes you, Professor Moraro, for being outstanding. As always, we appreciate you. Cementless bricks. Prof comes, uh, to me, he comes across an extraordinary person. He thinks out of the box. And more than anything, you know, he never stops amazing you with things that he, he says and does. But his inventions didn't keep him away from his studies. Five years at Brown University working consistently hard, Moraro finally received his PhD. But... I fought and did what I could. Uh, life was not easy for me. Fortunately, a minor
edited for the sake of time, but those are snippets of Prof. Muraro's life. Some of you might have watched Cut Blanche. Some of you might have watched the Zomaramani and have witnessed the great works of Muraro, Professor Muraro Doyoyo. We're almost wrapping up, but before we wrap up, we are going to call upon some of the leaders where he grew up, his formative years, where he cut his teeth in the village where he grew up. Abapovondohovonabrangapanda <laughs> Um, and Ariwa <laughs> Era bari chihuvidza uri ndi hava venda bodo yoyo. Mukala vota amba wa patikuru. Nga 1977 ndi jijini shabu usi. Vababu ni mkoma murwane. Rachimbira na usika makuru wa muralo wa charisia. Muralo aaru charamtani wabakomani atonipa mvero ya msanda. Afuna shango la vondwe. A imana lo kazunga na zimwe. Chipinga chingi mraro oba chere chibya America. Roba richidze zamsanda oba odawere sa koma na wawe Dennis doyoyo. Dennis singa chunga chone oba ache pesa ni akoro. Zoba zichito richidze zamsanda richuko fabutari amraro bunge. Na miloro mengi abai kwe lora yobere zisashango. Chivenda chiamba chiri mori muhuru ukare ya musi wawa. Ndizi na rakuzibo na kamla ruzu ino. E, hapa lani ipini la mzimu. Wambi wa uri mprofita hatu ni piwisha ngoni la hawe. Ngazwa na yeso ho ambu upi. Uri uya nazareta barinde wala wa Mariana Yosefa mubadu wa mabranga. Ipini la mzimu lari asite madembe manji amuditua. Na mularo vondwe wa mubwana samwana. Hene pala doyoyo. Abongo mubwana samtu ane angaita chitu. Rine riko takade la butari hemu. Mularo doyo aba anao. Obede za shango. Abe ya shango la vondwe kama apa. Zazino ributibe ya bona kure nga ntani ya mularo. Ndi takaira zwe mularo aba achiko zuita. Ndukumbura chungwe chifinga. Obu ya chikwani achimfonera. Ariba msanda. Kumbi lori vade baboni chiti chicha mdagasi. Chinenda kwa chiti la shango la vondwe. Ari ndikweta chiti chicha mdagasi cha sola. Urimusi eskom ichi wana problem. Shango la vondwe lisangu wana problem. Oba anabutari achikori. Zazino ndikotomanga uita uri mdagasi uweka block 3 na 4. Ndi chifeza ndi doi itauri, shangwa la vondwe lote, 
Libe nam dagasi. Aram dagas wa eskom wotu wa for twelve hours. Vonre mu dagas udo shim se chumana chim. Nizre muraro aba uzi toma. Chiti chichi honi uchi toma. Udo re achongo fair. Ni kumbra nyambe zanu yanga yo feds anam raro. Yoba yam si achukong kwama achukori bam sanda. Ni kumbra uri. Rifate University ya Engineering Vondre. Ine ya dotu sabazura hapo. Vasungu bireranga cherede. Vashumisa ni vanga. Vanenda shumisa na voka lifasi. Vadora mbeza uri. Hei University iwe hone. Ndichi mupindura ndari mafu au hone. Nisungu vana problem. Ine itani uri nivuye rizure pasi. Rivu ni uri. Vondre ringa libreji sahani. Ndi muralo aneshango la vondwe la mtiba. Rinesa rusha karukuri, roke liriwa. Roba rikido penifta zinji. Ka muralo doyoyo, ndori uu. Ariru. Mira. Ndandu. Ndandu. That's the traditional leader where Muraro grew up, we have traditional leaders in our country. And we have other levels of government that governs us. And all the ululations and greetings that we we're doing, that's how we revere our leaders as a people. We're going to sing a song. As we sing a song, we will then call upon the executive mayor of the Wembe District Municipality, those are political leaders here. They have heard everything that has been said about Muraro. I don't think five years will go past before we have a monument to respect and revere him. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant? gorgeous, talented, fabulous. Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. That's Marianne Williamson who wrote that many years ago. Richiko Wanaruimbo, the Rekota Kusa, Wafrida Nkondo, the executive mayor of Mbembe District. Mbembe District has got four municipalities. Makado, Musina, Tulamela, and uh, Collins Chavani. Those are the municipalities that she oversees. All the things that you've been talking about, the land, the places, she knows about them. Let's respect her when she speaks so udiba yenda takuwaone udiba unenda yapne umusimu achimbira o nande ondiri yende Member of the Mayoral Committee, Bumatuka Rose, Program Director, Wimeli Hachivase, Maosi Ote, 
the family led by Bavenda Bodoyoyo, Prof. Mularo's children who joined on stream, Professor Chilidzi Marwala who joined us on stream, the Chancellor, the Principal of Univent, Professor Ntambeleni, and the Vice Principal, all colleagues and friends, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. We have been listening to uh, innovative and inspiring stories about Professor Muralo Doyoyo. As we celebrate this life, ours is a message of hope, love, and conciliation. We come here to celebrate a life well lived in the words of well-known speaker, Miles, Miles Monroe. Prof. Mulalo lived his full life with no regrets. Manri says, open quotations, the greatest tragedy of life is not dying, but living without a purpose, I close quotation. Professor Doyoyo lived with a purpose and died a fulfilled man. In the life and times of our country, South Africa, and our district of Wembe in particular, we have lost a super intelligent human being. We have heard from colleagues in Boston, US, Japan, and elsewhere how they have benefited from Prof. Doyoyo's wisdom since his infancy. Mularo was a Tinjalo that President Ramaphosa told us about during the State of the Nation address a month ago. This Tinjalo went to a primary school where there was no electricity in Vondwe and passed with distinctions. He went to Mbilwi Secondary School, which was, and still, not a private school, and still passed with distinctions. He resolute, his resolute mind was to change the way our world is looked at. We are told that Prof. Mulalo despised the white teachers at Mbilui because to him they represented white supremacy. In his mind as a village boy, he wanted to prove that a black child does not have a mind of monkey. That a black child can do better than even the so-called whites. That's why at the University of Cape Town, he registered for two master's degrees, an attempt the university wanted to reject, but was persuaded by his superior mind. He graduated two masters in mathematics and engineering in two years. There was no doubt that this Tinjalo was destined for greater things. At Boston, Massachusetts, and MIT, he exceeded and performed beyond human expectations. The world marveled at, his, at this young man from South Africa, from Lipompo, from a village without running water in Vond. Program director, we are celebrating a legend, the engineer in Prof. Doyoyo is still needed. His invention of a brick that uses fly ash instead of cement is a solution 
to our low cost low cost houses his invention of a unique paint as we had earlier is still indeed to be used in our communities prof doyoyo died empty because he emptied all he has to the world those who spoke earlier from within academia spoke of a better world he has created prof doyoyo was not a politician but a creator an inventor and innovator as the district and the, fam and the family we are waiting for the provincial government to give us a sign or a communique declaring his funeral a special provincial one because he was a giant from now we are still waiting we'll hear from the province because we have we are waiting for the response from them as we have applied i will be failing in my duty as a politician if i don't remind remind all of us of the coming elections in a month's time that will be held on the 29th of may this year this election will separate boys from men girls from women and children those who will not vote must know that they are not expected to say anything or complain for the next five years yes recently we have heard some people saying if they are not voted or elected there will be chaos in the country these are anti-revolutionary people what type of a government do you expect from them i urge you to vote wisely and vote for continuity and experience may the soul of prof molaro doyoyo rest in perfect peace i thank you all Thank you. Let's give a round of applause again. We were almost done. And I think I'll leave the vote of thanks and uh, thanking you for your patience to the program director or to the... <laughs> To the one who it has been a long day to the one who's going to give announcement but suffice to say the funeral tomorrow is called a special provincial funeral we're struggling with getting approval and when I got out I just got a call from the presidency the everything is fine for an official program. Those who have attended, they will realize that tomorrow there will be police, there will be all those people who will be there to make sure that Moraro is accorded the respect of any citizen that has performed beyond. Oh, let me tell you, there's an award that was already prepared for him now that he's gone, it will be posthumous. It's not for me to make an announcement that award is only announced by the president. So don't tell anyone. Um, oh, sorry. It's all, oh my word. Okay. I didn't say anything. <laughs> uh, I'll call upon Kutsumu Urubo Kuriso Nemadzwanani as we sing a song to come.
I'm sorry I'm rushing. I forgot an important point. I thought as we explained to the guys who are playing the video that they will play the obituary. I thought it was linked to the other because I went out to respond to some of the things that they wanted us to do from Pretoria. We will now observe a moment and listen to the biography of Professor Muraro Doyoyo. Thereafter, as we sing a song, Kotsumuro Kuriso Namazwanani will come and do a vote of thanks. Thank you. This is the obituary for Professor Muraro Ruben Doyoyo. Professor Muraro Ruben Doyoyo, a pillar of MIT and Brown University's engineering departments for many years, and a prolific inventor whose creation touched a counted life, passed away on the 11th of March, 2024. He was 53 at the time of his death. Munaro was born on the 13th of August, 1970, to Muzuri Elizabeth Zaga Doyoyo, his mother, and Korombi Anderson Doyoyo, his father, of Vonre village in Venda, Limpompo. His ordinal position was the eighth of ten, being the youngest among his brothers. Prof. Doyoyo's passion for engineering ignited early in his age. His first foray into education started at the age of six years at Vonre Primary School. His brilliance surfaced early when he was discovered and sent to Mbiri Secondary School. But it was a naughty prank that led him to discover his grandmother's secret innovation. He and his friends found it funny to shoot at clay pots with slingshots. He discovered that, unlike other pots, his grandmother's pot did not disintegrate when shot at. His curiosity was ignited. He later discovered that his grandmother mixed clay with a slimy secretion of reverend frogs. He cited this discovery and the difference it made as the main trigger for his lifelong engineering curiosity. After he obtained excellent uh, superlative scores on an IQ test conducted by Anglo American at the University of Venda, he was awarded a scholarship and went on to earn a degree in mechanical engineering from the University of Cape Town. It was in 1993, with his academic satiety unquenched, that he went on to complete his doctoral studies at Brown University, a private Ivy League research university in Providence, Rhode Island, in the United States of America. Soon thereafter, in 1999, Prof. Doyle joined the faculty at the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology as a lecturer, where he quickly rose through the ranks, inspiring generation of engineers with uh, his infectious enthusiasm and dedication to the field. While a professor of engineering at MIT, he worked with many motor vehicle brands to find innovative ways to increase safety. He later went to work at Georgia Institute of Technology, also known as Georgia Tech, where he collaborated with the likes of Roland Gustafsson, the former director of Volvo Technology Cooperation. Gustafsson commented on Professor De Yoyo, Quote, I was very impressed with his work at MIT and later at Georgia Tech. I've been doing research for so many years. When I see excellence, I know it. Close quote. 
This excellence was showcased in numerous uh, television programs, the likes of uh, Against All Odds, Carte Blanche, and Zoma Ramani. In 2011, Professor Doyoyo moved back to South Africa with the express intention to plow back his knowledge and skills to his native country. Prof. Moraro did not work for many companies in South Africa in the traditional sense. However, his work did intersect with the South African industry. He established an experimental laboratory for eco-friendly chemical near Johannesburg. These laboratory activities were recognized by Cecil Chem City, a South African chemical and energy company which provided funding through their program for small and medium-sized enterprises. Beyond the classroom, Prof was a renowned inventor. His creation, some of which are listed here, include the Sinocell, a cementless concrete which is made from fly ash, a byproduct of coal combustion in coal-fired power plant in various industry, miniature waste treatment plant. This is for toilets which are suitable for scarce water and sanitation deficient areas. Eco-cast brick making machine that save water and energy. Also, Omrigard, an environmentally friendly alkali resistant primer paint made from coal ash. Listen fly, a liquid cement that can reach as high as 65.5 MPA. Last, Ahifambeini, a hydrogen powered motorbike. All these innovations not only garnered numerous awards for him and patents, but also had a profound impact on a number of areas. He made a significant contribution to the field of applied mechanics, ultralight material, green building, renewable energy, and other fields of engineering. Prof. Dyer's work has had a profound impact on the world as it focuses on cleaner environment either through creating non-polluting products or using pollutants to create pollutant-free products, thereby reducing toxic industrial waste and cleaning the environment and ensuring a cleaner life for this and future generation. Prof. Dyer's most notable invention was the cementless concrete which can be produced without the burning of fossil fuels. Its impact is in the reduction of carbon that will otherwise be spewed into the atmosphere in the normal production of cement. Morado's influence extended far beyond academia and invention. He was a dedicated mentor, guiding countless students towards successful engineering careers. His colleagues remember him as a brilliant mind, a kind soul, a private person and a true champion of innovation. Murado was a predeceased by three siblings, two sisters who died very young. His brother Robert Fulpero who died in 1997 at the age of 35. Mularo de Yoyo is survived by his wife Tato, his children Amalia, Shango de Yoyo, and Olivia Mutsuri de Yoyo. Three sisters, Azundini, Chipiwa, and Murendeni, and three brothers, Chindukani, Chitokisi, and Rufuno. Prof. Dayoyo's legacy will live on in the hearts and minds of his students, colleagues, and all those who knowingly and unknowingly benefited from his remarkable invention. Eterajawodi Dayoyo, Lamambo Lindarufa Lasumam Sanda, Guinda, Muira Muchirabumbuzi, 
to be some chira it's got the chira. Mudoro wabalaozi bagua masenga. But was in a tower. Tapazabo di madamo abafumagazi. Indeed, a limp has fallen from the Doyo family. That says, grieve not for me. Remember the best times. The laughter. The song. The good life lived. While I was strong, my day is now done. The last warm sun has set for me. I go to my dreamless bed where grief repossesses. My book of toil is read. The long day closes. Nanda ba au Nanda ba namne Yesu Unanda ba namne Dir Yesu unanda Amen. <coughs> I'm aware that the hour is advanced now. For that reason, I'll try to be judicious with time. Um, Shakespeare wrote a book called Romeo and Juliet. In that book, Juliet says one day to, to Romeo, Romeo, if you love me, tell me how much. Whereupon, Romeo says, there's beggary in love that can be described. Rufuno rudu nrokono describiwa. Rapele ruka divaru shota. Arudu rufuno rukuma, arudu describe it. So, the contribution Yahuyu Muraru Doyo, but who wrote the river in Japarit Kotaru Cheza, Zunara Diva, Nazarafa, and those who are going to teach us attentively. We tried our best, but that best is not enough. Because if we were to talk at length about this young man, the professor, would talk about him until the cows come home. So, what everybody was talking about here can be summed up simply with one word, ethereal. Morado's contribution to the world of knowledge is ethereal. Ethereal means something that is so delicate, so good, that it seems not to be of this world, ethereal. So to try and talk about this professor is to try to square a circle. To square a circle is to try to do the impossible. It's a way of saying thank you to everyone that came to speak. Because I did not want to say, oh, what can I mean? What can I mean? 
Eh, uh, I'm saying this seriously because Professor Doyoyo came to the University of Venda and gave a public lecture. Uh, Professor Matamba was there at the time and some professors in the Senate chambers. We listened, but we, understand, we understood half of it. If we didn't, it was so high flown, so much above us. So Muraro was a citizen of the world. So we thank you very much. Musanda Ergolibua, Urubokono Sikapan. Zinogore na Musanda, Papa Petu na Musindi Vondo, Tane Fimini building Petu na Musindi Vondo, Ndi Vondo, Ido Vyerera Usineva, Sonia Musirichi Baba. Ru Libua. Ngamanda. But whatever work a program, we uh, accorded it the dignity that it deserves because of the man that he was. Uh, now, announcements. Ndiba zondi zauri mushumo machero udo tomanga six o'clock ya macheroni. Vondwe. Ange yera wariko dita wane taberu tomanga macheroni. Uba chemu kosi wataviyo usika mroa. Rita wariko tomanga nge inga six. Zozo chinga wa zawudi uri ejito tomori wa fast five, twenty to six, quarter to six, eri wariko jia mazuro. Uri ejito re six, eh, River Kotom. We are reasonably confident that we are going to have a special provincial official funeral. That being the case, it is important that we are there in good time. Repake to the west of the tent. To the west, our family. Nawani wabani wado wako chimbiza yesu za special provincial funeral. Wado paka to the east. Rito kono takwa saudi zotu mshumochi pera. Richi ya hange yi mavidani. Riko nduko wana zofanera. It is proper, I think. Uri rilibuwe watu wewa wana rinova. Richi toma tabero wange usika zino. Bafunzi wa masele sele baka diba wane hapa. Ndo papa chi riba wa wasiko breaka chikuwa. Ndo ndo kuchitu chalisanga manda. Baba wuzi ura wongo chi breaka. Uta wori he had the misfortune of not being my student. Arari wo ndo wa ndo wa funza chikuwa. I'm sure his presentation would have been more succinct. Ndo li wanga manda. Right. Rekolibu wana program director. Rekolibu wana program director. Zeza wahone. Uva chewa fachiwo hecho. Uva mande. Wawo faramshumo zo dinga manda. Books will be written. Stories will be told. About a man who once lived his life. A man who invented so many things and the world will continue to be a better place because of these innovations that he brought to the world. As we are singing a song, I'll again request Reverend Seani Mavina. Uh, she doesn't like to be called Apostle or bishop, or none of these was ever remaining. Was going for one who was a pastor, one who was a professor, without any body of work or research. <laughs> okay, sorry, glitches to the word. But for some of my people, they were very much more than that.
Rangadamba politiki za kereke ino Una rupsi Roba bona Roba bona Aya Sama patsea Benediction. of uh, Mr. Doyoyo and I'm also making this video on behalf of many others that we started together with uh, with Mr. Doyoyo. We met in 1989 at UCT uh, when we were all studying engineering. Um, everybody said that engineering is a difficult degree but Doyoyo made it a very easy degree. He is probably one of the smartest individuals that I've ever met. And I think he's probably one of the smartest individuals that the world has ever known. At UCT at the time, back in 1989, when you were giving exams, it was actually possible for you to score more than 100% because they gave you tasks such that you had more than 100 questions to answer but they obviously made it so difficult that you couldn't uh, answer those within the allocated time. Toyo on more than one occasion would actually exceed and surpass that. Uh, surpass that he was, he was really special. I mean, he he would make a meal of most of the tests and the tasks that we assigned were assigned to do. Um, during exams. If you went to the TV room, you will find Ruben sitting and watching uh, and watching TV. Um, and I said to him, Ruben, clearly you should be revising what you've learned and you should be preparing for the exams. And his answer was, for stuff strange and interesting, that some he says, you know your name, you never have to study and remember your name. So why do you have to go and revise and and repeat stuff that you know so you've had it once you should remember it all the time that is the kind of man that he was at uct he did very well at uct he as i said like i mean there's a lot of students who at the time in 89 came from a bursary that was provided mostly by anglo and shell and i think there's lots of people today who would owe them passing engineering and them passing uh, especially maths and science to the help that Toyoyo provided. He provided, he was, he was a tutor to most people. When you were stuck, you knew who to go, who to go to. So I think the world has really lost a brilliant mind. I think the, law, the world is poorer because uh, Mr. Toyoyo is no longer uh, working with, uh, with us. My next interaction with Toyoyo was when he was at, uh, at Brown University in the U.S. I was on a separate state in Massachusetts and we kept touch and I did go to visit him once or twice to hang out. And the kind of work and research that uh, Toyoyo was doing and the kind of funding that he had 
from Brown University was quite impressive. I think to have a boy who grew up in a village in Venda to have had the access of things that he was doing in the U.S. is truly amazing and, uh, and inspiring. Fast forward a few years, we interact now in South Africa. We both are back in South Africa and Toyoyo comes up with these amazing innovations. Uh, the paint that he innovated and when he was telling me the merits of that paint, um, it, was, it was something spectacular in a typical Toyoyo, Toyoyo style. Uh, he's always thought big, he's always tried to come up with solutions for the world. Uh, his latest innovation as well in terms of how he can make um, something strong using ash and whatever chemicals that he was putting together was, um, was truly inspiring and, uh, and amazing. On a lighter note, I, when I last interacted with him, he showed me pictures of his, uh, of his kids and he was saying to me, why didn't you tell him when we were at UCT that he's a, he's a handsome man? Because I think he's, uh, the pictures of the daughters that he was very proud of, he was showing me how beautiful they are. And he was saying that Vosi, if I knew how handsome I am, I would have had kids uh, earlier and I would have had lots of kids. And he was also commenting on that his kids are super sharp and super bright like him. Um, I think to the family, we are really sad that we have lost Toyoyo. I think may the Lord comfort you. May the Lord be with you. I think you must be proud, though, of what you have done. I think you have truly produced one of the cleverest uh, and brilliant minds that this world has ever seen. Toyoyo, you've been a good friend. You will sorely missed. I think your passing is a shock, not only to me, but to all of the people that we studied, uh, that we studied together. Uh, when the news came, I think everybody's shocked and everybody's still shocked today. And we said that we couldn't be there in person, but know that we are there in spirit with you and you'll always remain a friend and somebody that we will speak highly of. Thank you. Bye-bye.